Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to the Tuesday streams. It's actually been uh, a little bit since I did a Tuesday stream. Uh, but we're back and it's time. It's time for Thief. Thief's back. It's going to become a full playthrough on the channel rather than just appearing every now and then. <laughs> and Chloe's here I to help it. me. I won! You won! I won at last! <laughs> I got my way! Yeah. Uh, I, I, as I, I called her on Twitter, what was it? The cat girl Taffa Queen. Because uh, uh, Chloe is That's a me. huge Thief fan and knows the games really well and is, is guiding me through them. Um, <laughs> praise Chloe! <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. I'm very excited for this. Um, we are currently on... Um, the Haunted Cathedral, which Chloe is telling me is a really good level. Um, yes. So I'm really excited about that. Hello to everybody that's joining in, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw the message from Pleasant. Thief 5 got bricks into a spur bank. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that got me. I'm just imagining him like, swiping apart and hearing like, the uh, the objective update sound. <laughs> I got to steal some spur. <laughs> Oh goodness! Uh, it's a sperm throne. How pretentious oh, can you get? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I feel like I feel like Garrett wouldn't be breaking into the sperm bank though. I feel like Garrett <laughs> would be breaking into the like, you know, the local over expensive endocrinologist and getting all uh, the HRT and then distributing that for everyone. I think he would. Yeah. I, that's, I, that's, 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 that's definitely in character. Move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a Garrett move. Garrett is just full of praxis. He's a man of action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is some sort of Sea of Thieves. I still need to play that game. Uh, I, I I saw I saw the I saw the um, the the Monkey Island Easter egg in Sea of Thieves, and I was and it, it, it really like it got it hit me. It hit me right where like in my heart. <laughs> I'm even wearing a Monkey Island shirt right now with a heart on it. So you know. <laughs> Wait, do you do you mean the Pirates of the Caribbean Easter egg? Well, it's in the Pirates. Oh, no. of the, it's in the Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, like DLC update thing. But it, there is like an actual Monkey Island thing. Oh, is there? Yeah, really? like actually, really? there's an entire like area with like a sunken ship that belonged to Kate Capsize from Monkey Island Two. Um, and the background is playing a, a new rendition of the Monkey Island theme that was composed for the game. I did not know that. That's it's, fucking awesome. It's oh so, my cool. God, that's so cool. And in the ship, there's like maps of like all the islands from from the games and uh, the journals from Kate Capsize about her trying to track down Guybrush. Like it's it's actually like a proper like homage to Monkey Island, and it it is so cute. <laughs> that's so cool. I I heard the music and I was just like I was like I was tearing up. I was like oh my god. Oh, look okay. <laughs> Because obviously it's such an important series to me, um, and I'm I'm working on, I'm, I'm working on uh, Curse of Monkey Island at the moment as well. Uh, I'm I'm currently yeah. writing that, and I'm about I'm nearly three thousand three thousand words deep into the script, and I still have a pretty long way to go. So it's gonna be another long one. It's gonna be another. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. Oh, I, I actually have a lot to say. I like. I realized I have so much to say about Curse of Monkey Island, like good and bad. I, I think it's. I think it's a. Um, it, overall, I love Curse of Monkey Island. I think it's a great game. I, I think it, it's uh, not the best game in the series for a few reasons, and I'm interested to get into that. And I'm interested to see what the comments are like on the video. <laughs> mm. I, I feel like Curse Curse is definitely one of those ones that's kind of forgotten mm. as well. By many uh, yeah. people. Only only the first two Monkey Islands are really given. Among the attention. among the like sort of adventure game community, Curse is actually really popular. Like it's it's a lot of people will say it's yeah. their favorite in the series. Um and I get it. It's it's a great game. Yeah. Um, also thank you for the uh, subscription, uh Pixel, by the way. Uh to twenty two months, damn. That's a long while. Um oh, that's pretty epic. Mostly the latter half. Oh oh sorry, yeah, I thought but yeah, uh, that, I was going to say that about Curse of Uncanon. The problems I have with Curse of Uncanon is like there's, you have like a good chapter and then there's like a not so good chapter and a good chapter and a not so good chapter. That's how I, I would say it's structured. And the ending of Curse of Uncanon is, I would even say bad. I would even say that it's like the end of Curse of Uncanon is, is like not that good. Like, because 
essentially there's like there's an entire like sort of section where LeChuck just expositions for like nearly 45 minutes um <laughs> which is like it, it's basically there to explain away all the plot holes from how they've gone from Monkey Island 2 to this game and explaining away the ending of Monkey Island 2 in their own way um and it, it it's just it feels like you, you didn't it's need to do much. that just do your own thing and don't worry about it <laughs> Yeah, it's a little much from the sounds of it. And then, like, it feels like the get, you kind of get rushed to the ending because, like, the, the last the sort of puzzles, it's like a two or three, like, puzzles towards the end, and then that's it. The, the really simple, small things that, like, you... you it, if, I think it feels like there were parts cut from the ending, I would say. I don't I don't know that for sure, but it feels like it. Um, And uh, there's, I, I also think Elaine was done very dirty in Curse of Monkey Island. Mm. She she doesn't have a speaking role for the last two chapters of the game. Oh, yeah, That's and nice. and and to be fair, like, she's, she's she's like she's she's damseled for like a lot of the game, but then like uh, she, she does the whole uh, Elaine escapes from Lechuk's grasp at the last moment thing, but you don't see her until like the like the end cutscene where she doesn't say anything. <sighs> it's like it's it's Elaine, that she escaped. Elaine, and is that's the it. Elaine is the coolest character. Yeah. Come on! Like she, don't fucking damsel like, her like, like, for, the, so like for most of the game, she gets turned into uh, a statue made of gold, um, and that's the, that's the plot. Is Guybrush trying to save Elaine from being turned into a statue? Um, she's free from the statue, and while Lechuk's doing his exhibition, Elaine is tied up and, and gagged, so she doesn't have a speaking role there either. <laughs> Elaine speaks in the intro, and when you free her from being gold, it like was like two lines. That that's it. <laughs> that's so annoying it's it's she is very badly handled in that game and i i think i think that needs to be discussed anyway uh i i mm. I, I went out on a monkey island tangent <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> are you ready to be the opposite of the first game i mean basically yeah thank you for the 15 bits it, it is basically the opposite um even though they do do the sort of like her escaping from the chuck uh bit again um just worse it's a lot of Monkey Island one, but worse in the uh, in the later sequels. But anyway, thief, thief, we've got to play thief. That's what we're here thief. for. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you didn't come here for me. Yeah, I start ranting about Monkey Island. I do that enough on my own channel. Uh, <laughs> I've got I've got to save some of it for the for the script. Anyway, uh, I think yeah. speaking speaking of pirates though, and Monkey Island, mm -hmm. I think one of my favorite things is that um, there is a whole collection of fan missions for Thief uh, that are pirate themed. Yes. And they are, they are so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. Uh, and a few, of, a few of them have Monkey Island references in them. Oh, of course. Well. Of course. Like, of course. You've got yeah. to. Um, also, I'm going to share <laughs> this to you now. Thank you very much. Yeah, and then I switch over to here, and we're good to go. I'm a big boy now. <laughs> that's, that's about right, yeah. A uh, big girl and I die a ghost. That's pretty much that, her plan. Thanks for the 75. Uh, thief gold. Everything coming through all right in the disco, by the way? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's coming through. Awesome. Haunted Cathedral. Yeah, so we're on an absolutely banging level. I, okay. I adore this level. Now, first thing I want you to do is I want you to check your map. Ooh. This is where the game really makes you need to pay attention. To, uh, <laughs> to the level design, mm. you'll notice all these different symbols uh, yeah. and street and street names and everything. Now, this is a map. Now, um, to remind ever to catch people up to uh, catch people up to um, what happened in the intro cutscene. We're in a quarantine section called okay. uh, the old called the old quarter, where there was some sort of cataclysm involving lots of zombies and undead and stuff. Um, and so this map that we're looking at mm -hmm. is uh, from before the cataclysm that occurred. Oh, interesting. So it, might, it might not be up to date. That's interesting. Huh? Oh, I like yeah. that. So, okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to see. I, I... So our objectives are, obviously, we need to get to the Haunted Cathedral. Uh, mm -hmm. In order to steal the eye, and then we've got a couple of other objectives as well. 
Um, I'm going to give you a bit of a clue now, is that one of the side objectives, there's a little gravestone above where it says Market Street. Okay. Uh, that is the Watchman's Grave, uh, ah. which is one of our objectives. I um, see. Which, which some people uh, end up missing, uh, so I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> okay. But so... yeah. Leave some coins on the Watchman's Grave for good luck. Oh, that's an interesting objective. It's very cute. Yeah. I really like that one. Okay, so if i got to find the cathedral, find a way to get inside and steal the eye, grab 2,000 loot, and steal the serpentile talk. I don't oh, know what that is. According to chat, you've got a... Yeah, I can see I can see on the stream. You've got what? a box. You've got a big box over the left-hand side oh, of the I? screen. do I? Yeah. What is that? It's looking weird. What the hell is that? Also, yeah, uh, these objectives that we're doing right now are expert difficulty only, because the way that Thief does uh, objectives is that on the higher difficulties, uh, the objectives are different, and you also there are going to be some changes to uh, level geometry as well. Like, there will be more lights, ah, uh, maybe got more it. guards, that sort of thing. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I, I, for some reason it was like another layer that was there for some reason. Oh, it, it's it's okay. the... It's the Sven Corp layer that I have still had on. I don't know why that was even coming up. I don't have Sven Corp open, and why did it, why did it manifest as a tiny black box at the side of the screen? Oh, OBS. OB, OBS is, is it was on something there. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I didn't see it at first because it was the uh, the. Uh, four by three black box at the side was kind of hiding it a little bit. Um, that was that was bizarre. All right. So someone has also redeemed Kako Cam. Oh, I, I mean, I I, did, I, I quietly showed off uh, Kako uh, while you're explaining the map, but I will do it a bit more uh, okay. explicitly. Also, thank you for those <laughs> ten bits earlier. I do like Kako Cam. I'm Kako Cam is so good. I'm looking forward to doing uh, to doing some Doom as well, so I can get uh, more Kako Cams in. <laughs> oh my God, Ghouls, Ghouls Forest playthrough when? Oh goodness, I I actually would be down for that. Didn't we like yeah. stream that a long time ago? <laughs> we did a long time ago. Yeah, we need to do all the sequels. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, what the hell is this? Why don't you flip the switch and find out? Oh, that's. All right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So now, only one. Uh, yeah, there's only one. The flashing, there. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, the, fla the flashing might get a bit. Uh... I'm trying not to do that too. Oh, uh, just, just, just uh, below you. Oh yeah, uh, I, I did see that earlier. Yeah. Um, how, do I, how do I look at this again? Oh, there we go. Right click. Uh, right. Um, <clears throat> Department of Public Works work order. The power grid control box for the neighborhood around Southern Reuben Street is located inside a residence. It should be in a public workstation like all the other power grid control boxes. We may need to build a new maintenance cell in that neighborhood. If so, be sure to contact the Census Bureau so they can update the map. It is important that all public workstations be marked on the map with the gear icon. Uh -huh. But we haven't been vigilant enough about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I take it there are zombies about. Um... Just admitting that there's been a yeah <laughs> cutbacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't even escape the cutbacks in, in video games. <laughs> oh, you might need to yeah, you might need to take a bit of a run up at that. What the? I can hear the zombies getting louder, but I don't see them. They're around. Okay. So where am I right now? Oh, hi. Okay, so that's. That's a, uh... Alright, can I, can I have a moment to read my map, sir? Alright, hold on. <laughs> I'm just gonna go here. He can't get me here, I don't think. Uh... Uh-oh. No, I think he can. Yeah, I think he can. Oh, no! Um... <laughs> uh, quick, if you, uh, you'll you have rope arrows. You might be able to get up on... Oh, you could climb on top of the box. Hold on, I can kill him. Uh... Can't I? What the? You can't kill zombies with a sword, no. I can knock him out, can't I? Uh, you can you can kind of knock him out though, yeah. You can you can you can get some more free. Just uh, careful, you're not. Oh damn it! <laughs> oh god. Oh, okay, you got him, you got him, you got him. Uh, run, sit down, run, 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 run. Sit, sit down. Yeah, ghoul. Totally be down for a. Oh no. Be down for a second. Oh no. 
<laughs> Diagonal. I need to unequip your sword. Oh, yeah, good point, good point. Uh, how do I do yeah, that again? Run a bit. Uh, tilled. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I've just woken up. <laughs> Weather scarf. I will do that. <clears throat> scarf is on. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to just. So was that was that station one of the gears? Uh, no, that wasn't. No, actually. So was, right. Was Ruben Street. Yeah, right now, obviously, where where you'll be is where it's blue. Mm -hmm. uh, no, wait, no. Blue is where you've been. Right. I need to remember how the I, re, I need to remember how this works exactly. But one of the main things you're going to want to be looking out for in this level is uh, you're going to really want to make sure to look out for road signs, but also shop signs as well. What am I looking for? Uh, how, how do I switch uh, between mm, items? Mouse wheel. Oh yeah, I I, I, I I do this every single time I play. It's like how do I like? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, and then it's back place to clear items. Yes. Okay, that's it. Right. So, just getting a, a bit of a lay of the land. Okay. There's a bit of loot there. Is it? No, to your left. Oh, I see it. Yeah, gold bit. There you go. 50? Nice. Uh, there's a building behind you that you can enter. Can I enter this? Oh, uh, this yeah. one. Oh, here. Oh, there's a health. There's a health potion there. I've never actually noticed that. Health potion. What? Yeah, just just where you drop down. It was on like the about the 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 ledge. Oh, there's a OP. Oh. oh, I see it. Never noticed that. Before. Never noticed that before. Okay. Okay. Uh... Everyone's Ooh. talking about they're at 10k, <laughs> 10 k scarf points. I'm currently sitting at 30,000. Damn. <laughs> I feel like you should have unlimited as a mod or something, right? Oh, is that just just, uh, just the, the owner of the channel? Oh uh, yeah, that's the owner. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the uh, the cat ears redemption tier. Oh, uh, that will be very that's expensive. Spending it on. <laughs> that's what I'll be spending my points on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting it in the bank so you can spend it on cat ears. <laughs> Oh yeah, Denton. Uh, Connor has the scarf on. It's on. Yeah, it's on. It is on and on. Um. Oh yeah, remember when you when you open a chest, you automatically pick stuff up. Yes. As well. Yeah, just in case you were looking at it. A bit funny. All right. Oh, is it already open? Oh no, you unlocked it. You unlocked it. Mine. Mine. That might be handy, Ooh. actually, uh, <laughs> considering that all the enemies here are going to be, like, Slow walking. Undead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Easy abating the traps. Okay, hold on. Yeah. There we go. You, you're allowed to kill, you're allowed to kill, uh, non-human oh. enemies. Okay. I mean, well, technically the zombies are already dead. I mean, it's mostly just freeing yeah. them from eternal torment, so. Yeah. It's actually yeah. doing them a favor, really. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, okay. The thing I love about this level is just the atmosphere. It's yeah. just impeccable. It's just it's, it's so really, really nice. Quiet and eerie. Yeah. On this level you're definitely gonna want to be nice. uh like look looking up and down as much yeah. as you can, because there's gonna be lots of little different kind of uh <laughs> things hidden around. <laughs> down here then. Ooh. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. That's different. Oh, hold on. I'm just get more comfy. Oh. Yeah, Plessin. Uh, <laughs> I am. I am very sad about that. Modern Modern Square Enix will never do anything yeah. with Thief. Uh, really. Or Deus Ex. Yeah, I was gonna that say matter. that. Like, I remember, yeah. I remember when people were like. <gasps> Oh, Idols Montreal are going to be doing a getting a new game at, uh, at E3. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They have been doomed to the I... Marvel Mines. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. Like it could be a good game, but mm. I don't care. It, I honestly don't it care. It seems very cookie cutter, like to me. Like really by the numbers stuff. 
It's yeah. just like a place where it's a real shame. It's a real shame because I, I personally think the Thief reboot has enough redeeming qualities for me to be interested in a sequel. Mm. Um, in the past, I've been... Oh, there's a key. Interesting. Oh, that's handy. Mm -hmm. In the past, I've been a lot more negative about Thief 4. But um, okay. y if you read the... Um, uh, I have the art book. And if you look at the art book, there's a lot mm -hmm. of kind of really interesting ideas in there. I, I do think that Thief 4 was kind of doomed, though, as soon as um, Square Enix yeah. uh, uh, started fiddling with the the team, uh, team makeup of Thief, and they weren't quite sure of what the the identity of the series was. I mean, I knew there was going to be a problem when the director was replaced, when the director, who was a fan of Thief, was replaced by a guy who has never played Thief, oh. and was a creative director on Assassin's Creed 3. So... That... You know the stuff that's happening to Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines 2? <laughs> yeah, not to make you worry or anything! <laughs> that's kind of the same thing! Replaced yeah, by a guy who... Fine. who... Oh, Burks! Oh, that's Burke. Oh, he's seen you. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can bop him, bop him on the head, knock him out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like killing my lizard friends. I was so upset when I found out you could knock him out, because I've been killing them every time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're babies. They're little babies who burp at you. Burpees. Uh, there, was a, there was actually oh. a, a glitch uh, with the Burks where they would actually... Where they, they would be shooting their little... Gas from the oh, two of them. behind, so it looked like they were firing at you. Why is my okay? Hold on. Why is my my oh. blackjack not swinging? Okay, there we go. I oh, okay. You had the you, you had the little weird glitch there. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes that can happen. I don't think. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to knock them out because they're alert. You're gonna have to oh. Um, probably. Oh, probably it's stinky. Run in hide. <laughs> stinky. Oh. Probably run and hide. Uh, yeah, Hitman is one of the few survivors. Uh, it's uh, of the the stealth genre, really. It, it's a shame because um, I think there's a lot of creative ideas in the stealth scene, and uh, and honestly, I'm 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 of the opinion that um, st stealth is one of those kind of genres that can it can easily be done very well, easily. Yeah. Um, it's not it's not something that AAA developers and publishers need to be allergic of. Simply because you know they've never been, <laughs> they've not exactly been a successful genre. They just need to bring the scale and scope down to yeah. a level that is reasonable. Don't expect Deus Ex of all things to start selling like multi millions. That's whatever. true. Yeah. It's, it's not that kind of genre. No. Like, um, it's not something that's going to necessarily bring that audience. It's like, it's like Activision um, expecting uh you know like Crash Bandicoot and stuff to to hit that as well. Which even just, though Crash really... Bandicoot sold really well. Yeah. That's like, the other thing. It's all it's all really well. It's not gonna do Call of Duty numbers. Yeah. Can't expect that. Basically, cap oh. capitalism bad. <laughs> oh, that one's stuck on a wall. You might be able to knock him out. Hold on. I can't remember what the quick save button is. <laughs> oh, it's F F9. Is it? Let me try it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Oh. It's okay. He's sleeping. He did sleep, uh, boy. Yeah, Denton. Yeah, you you can tell when the attitude changed uh, with the with the Thief remake, uh, with the Thief reboot, because they they essentially basically just started going, oh yeah, well the old games they aren't that great anymore. It's this attitude of like old is bad, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, so I hate we it. must be here. That yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, what's this do? Lights. Oh, hello. Lights. Yeah. See, all, all of the, the stuff about, like, un playing Thief and looking at it does remind me that Gloomwood exists, and I'm very excited for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm, I'm of the opinion that uh, Thief and Deus Ex should be returned to, you know, people like New Blood and... Um... What the hell? Oh, that is a ghost. <laughs> Why? It's just ghosts walking about? <laughs> All right. Might want to be careful with that. I guess. It, oh hi. I guess it is a haunted cathedral. That yeah. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty haunted. Yeah, this cathedral really do be haunted. This this cathedral. 
<laughs> oh god. Um. Yeah, I, I'm kind of hoping you know, IPs like Thief and Deus Ex, they go to go to publishers and stuff mm -hmm. like New Blood and uh, what's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> what's the other one? Night Dive. That's it. Oh Night yeah, Dive, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, um, yeah, Night Dive. You know, they're doing System Shock. Um, it's true. Y you know what? You know what it's like with um. AAA publishers, they'll never let go of any potential intellectual yeah. property that they can, you know, that they can make money off of. So it's very sad, and we'll probably never get anything like that oh, ever again. Oh, Christ! Into magic! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Can't even kill a ghost. Can't bop him on the head, either. You can actually kill him. You can? Uh, yes. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Oh, oh god! It's a triple shot! Oh god! Scatter shot! I've never seen that one before! You're Maybe dick. jump in the water, right? Like, try and get away, or try, or try and get a jump across to the other side. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, and the zombies hit. You know what? Uh, yeah, just, just jump. <laughs> <laughs> But Gloomwood definitely looks better and better, like the Maris here. Like, there's so many little details in it that just look like it's gonna be. Something. Yeah, Gloomwood, Gloomwood's great as well because I know a lot of people are saying, "Oh, it's like Thief," and honestly, I like the fact that really the only comparison I have, uh, I think it has to Thief, is aesthetic. They say it can kind of I, I it feels I, a little bit as well. It, it feels a bit like Thief yeah. as well, but I also love the fact that it's doing it is doing its own thing. Well, yeah, exactly. It's it's, it's a kind of survival horror as well, like leaning yeah. like pretty heavily into that. Yeah, and as Denton says, um, uh, the developer Dylan Rogers is a huge fan of Thief. Oh yeah. Um, one of my, one of my favorite things uh, for, uh, that I've seen from oh, from Rogers yeah. is when he uh, when they tweet um, when there's a, a fan mission contest. Uh, in the Thief community. And Dylan does a little uh, playthrough to tweet commentary on it. I'm going to drown. Um, I really love that. And you are going to drown. Oh, did oh, I almost oh, made it! No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's so close. That was right at the surface. All right. Actually, what did I, didn't I use a quick save? I did. Oh, yeah, but I think it was right before... Uh... Oh, yeah, here you it's go. Here. It's fine. You might be able to go kill the ghost. But... How do you kill a ghost? You just bop him on the head. Oh. <laughs> don't, a don't ask how, it just works. <laughs> don't question it. <laughs> yeah, Thief Thief 2 has uh, Thief 2 has less horror elements. It's more kind of like it it's more like horror themes more than anything. Um, yeah. Thief 1 has like straight up horror levels and stuff. Um, Thief 3, on the other hand, is leans a bit more into kind of a balance with with it. It, it kind of Thief Thief Three evokes a bit more of um, Thief One, I think. And obviously, obviously, Thief Three has one of the greatest horror levels ever made, the Shalebridge Cradle. I've I've heard of Shalebridge Cradle by reputation. Um... All you need to know about Shalebridge Cradle's reputation is that it's one of the few video game levels to have a Wikipedia page. Really? That's yes. Interesting. <laughs> it is. Absolutely superb, and I still haven't. I, I'm actually a bit of a fake Thief fan. I've still not beaten Thief Three uh, because Shellbridge Cradle scares me too much. <laughs> <laughs> I I really really oh. hate that level. I mean, I love that level, but I um I find it so scary. Um, and yeah, Couscous, you're right. It is actually a surprisingly easy level, but the fear makes it more difficult for me. Um, I do find it, uh, it is an utterly terrifying level. Um... Hold on. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that little ledge, that you, that's where you drop down from before when you're being chased by the ghost. Oh, right, yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, but you managed to... <laughs> 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 you managed to avoid the zombie. Uh, it was an accident, oh. but it, it was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> do what I did with the Ocean Hotel and... Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines babble to yourself and call the ghost bad words until you win. <laughs> That's a great See, level as well. The, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, the Ocean... What is it? The Ocean House Hotel? Uh, ocean House, Ocean View, something like that. Ocean View. Yeah, I think wow. it's Ocean View. Yeah, that's another great horror level. 
Um, and another one which just comes completely out of left field and is a total surprise. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, Clon, I totally get what you mean. Uh, Dishonored's a great game as, as well. I, I personally prefer Thief simply because of just the fact that it feels a bit more difficult. Dishonored for me kind of gets a little bit too easy, but I love Dishonored all the same. There's a bit of loot there. Yeah. This this uh, this level is one of my favourites to uh, speedrun in Thief One. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Denton, your sword your sword can always kill ghosts. Ghosts can always be killed. Why can't you see um, anything? It's because Thief is dark at times. Thief is dark. Yeah. You might it, uh, it might be good if you may, maybe put a uh, post processing filter. On, on the, the, on the stream? Yeah, okay. just to, yeah, just to increase the gamma. Uh, how do I do that? Uh... I think it's right click and then it's a, it's under effects. Okay. And you add an effect. Uh, it's like a, I, I don't know, gamma or something like that. You have to take a look. Uh, I do not. Oh, filters? No. Yeah, it'll be under filters. I don't yeah. see anything under there. Um, let me have a look. I, I, I honestly can't. Let's see it's it's it might be under like um i don't know it's i look like... in properties and it doesn't seem to I, and it should be under filters should be under i filters. i don't see anything it just says effect filters and then it's all it's all empty oh, oh you have to oh wait oh oh, oh yeah oh, i see i see i'm i'm silly yeah. i'm silly yeah. <laughs> uh <laughs> Color correction, or it might be under you might might be under color correction because um I think there'll be a bright I think there's a brightness setting and color correction. Oh right, yeah. Oh yeah. That's maybe that's maybe too much. Um, I don't know how best to do this brightness. Uh, maybe boost the contrast slightly. I don't know. Uh, it's... is there a gamma option? Actually, that that might be better. Hold on, let me. Yeah, the gamma the gamma option should be better because that'll do it uh, at a. Oh yeah, that's just better. If I boost that to maybe there, let's have a look. Let's have a look. People in stream, uh, give us feedback. Is on that is it's that better? Oh, actually, see. you know what? That does look way better. Because I can't see, but uh, <laughs> you guys can see. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys can see. Um, yeah, there you perfect. go. Perfect. That's the perfect balance. Uh, yeah, couscous. Um, yeah, the thief remake. Uh, adds more mobility with the swoop feature. I actually don't mind the swoop, if I'm being honest. The thing is, is that the swoop doesn't work with the level design because the levels are too small, they're too cramped. So the swoop becomes really overpowered very easily. Um, I think if if the thief if thief four was able to go a bit more broader with its level design, a bit more creative as well. Um, well, a bit more like Thief 1 and 2, basically. Um, I think the swoop could have worked Oh my really god. Well. A bit louder. Oh, hi! Give Thief to Arcane Studios. Oh, yeah, no, I could I could be behind it. It's kind of funny how Bethesda, and now Microsoft, who own Bethesda. Um, oh. Um, why are you popping this on here? How can I pop this guy? There's a ghost. You might want to use your sword. Sword! <laughs> Go on, keep up on him, keep up on him. Die, you ectoplasmic bitch! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, if you Think if you well. used your sword when you uh, when you were sneaking up on him, it would have been a one-hit kill. Just saying. <laughs> Oh. Go get him, get him, charge, charge, charge. Oh, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Oh my god. Nah. I, uh, hold it down so that the sword is like above your head. Okay. So it's like a power hit, basically. Uh, <laughs> it's zombie! Oh, half a. Oh, yeah. I get it. So the stream, the stream straight up isn't showing anything for you, Harper. Uh, do you want to try refreshing the browser window, or like refreshing? Yeah, like closing and reopening the browser. See if oh my god! I'm just gonna try and do this again. Hold on. If I go quickly. What? 
not quick enough. Oh, but you got it. You got the zombie. Oh, no. <laughs> God. Okay. Oh, that doesn't kill him in one hit. Okay. No Oh, okay, that's the zombie down. That's the zombie. Uh -oh. Get out of here! <laughs> Alright, we did it. <laughs> we did it! Right, now I need to... Uh... You're officially a Ghostbuster. Yeah! I, I, should, I should heal, I think. <coughs> yeah, good idea. Good idea. Oh, yeah, he's back. Oh. He's back. <laughs> he went into like a default human position for a moment. <laughs> oh, all right. I can avoid this guy. Isn't it? So... Oh yeah. Would I like another prey game? Absolutely. I would like two prey games. I would like a continuation of Human Head Studios <laughs> Prey, and also Prey from Arcane. That would be amazing. Oh, Burke. Um. Yeah. Oh. Arcane's Prey is genuinely like so fucking good. Uh, what I was saying earlier, though, is I, I think it's quite fascinating now that Bethesda and Microsoft are one of the few bastions of AAA immersive sims. Yeah. yeah. Like, there are no, like, like the, a few others I can think of were, like, maybe, um, I don't know, Metal Gear, Solid 5, that has some immersive sims. Well, they're not really immersive sims. They, they have, like, systemic elements to them. They're not really immersive sims, though. So you're on Deperrance Street. I need to find Market Street. Uh, you might want to use your compass to kind of help guide you around, maybe. Oh, I, I forgot the compass existed. I, most players do, sadly. Uh, okay. But it, but it is insanely so useful. We want, we want to go east then. Yeah, thereabouts. So we want to try and head. This. Oh, Vfig! Hello! Oh my God! Hi. Hi, Vfig. You, uh, I don't Vfig, know. Vfig. Um. <laughs> Vfig is uh, an FM author. Oh, cool! Uh, nice yeah, you. they did. They did a really awesome map uh, called "Making a Profit" for the 20th anniversary contest. Hello. Yeah, my friend Chloe is guiding me through my first playthrough uh, of the game. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, Vfig. I was, I was saying uh, to Connor, yeah, the the map and how it's outdated. And you have to, and it, it's not even remotely up to date. Is it, uh, it's a lot is of it fun. bad. <laughs> oh, but it's so much fun. It's so yeah. good. It's so good. I'm, I'm just trying to navigate my way east so I can find this grave. And hopefully, I won't drown again. Oh, you made it. You made more than an okay FM, Vfig. Yeah, that that uh, making a profit was superb, especially considering it was your first. Don't sell yourself short. It was oh, great. This is I where I drowned it. before. Yeah, this is this is where you drown before. Oh, let's find someone to not drown. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> what the? Oh, what the hell are you? You have found a cray beast. That is a weird uh, looking guy. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> right. I'm gonna save. Yeah, maybe. We can do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Harper, I'm sorry. Is it still not working for you? It's, it's finally made it to the stream now. Uh, so, glad to oh, have okay. you, Harper. Yeah. And thank you for the 240 bits. <laughs> thank you for the 24 hour Cinderella. Um, so. Oh, I. Uh, you should be able to kill. You should be able to kill this beast with a uh, with a sword. Oh, so so these Whoa. things. Are I think no, actually, I think you can knock these enemies out. Maybe give it a try. Uh, well, I've saved. Uh, yes, you can. You can. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> like little insect people. That. That was not something I was expecting to see, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> the one of my. The, honestly, one of my favorite beasts. Uh, they're cool. But I didn't. I didn't they're realize. Very, yeah. They're very cool. <clears throat> Let's see if there's some stuff around here. Some yeah, there's got to be something in here. That's gonna be interesting. He's got to oh, be guard or something. Well, there might be something in the rafters. 
Has brain can be KO. Yeah, that's that's pretty good logic. Yeah. Ooh, can I, I was I, I was so shocked to find out that uh Burroughs could be blackjacked because I've always oh. been killing them. And I was so I was so upset because I've like murdered so many in all my playthroughs I've murdered so many Burroughs and I love Burroughs. <laughs> so I'm really happy I can knock him out. What you looking ah, for? Row Paris? There we go. Yeah. Should be uh eight on the Okay. Pad. I'll just say because it's not guaranteed that I will uh, be safe with this. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing things is slightly dangerous. <laughs> Actually, why did I do that? It can that? be a little bit, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Oh, no, you should be fine. You can, you can drop down into the water and there's an exit there oh, anyway. True, yeah. I'm just trying to see yeah. if there's anything along the uh, along these rafters. Doesn't appear to be anything, but I can go up here at least. Well, so, yeah, Couscous, you've said before, most of them strike me as that weird territory where they might sell well enough to make a profit, but not well enough for companies to really invest in them unless the company isn't purely looking at profit. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking at the AAA space, I, I think it's, you know, I, it's just a total misunderstanding. Um, I think a lot of people look at games like Deus Ex and Thief as kind of like, you know, action adventure things, something that's very easy to sell. Uh, and they put a huge amount of money into it. And obviously, when you get to AAA... Uh, budgets. A lot of the budget of a AAA game is marketing. Hello, zombies. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, Ben VSA. You ready for the party for free? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Thank you so Hello. much for coming along, and thank you so much for the raid. What were you up to on stream today? Oh, I, I would take a look at that sign if I were you. Uh, and see if... Oh, uh, just behind you. Just behind you. <clears throat> oh, oh, actually, that's fine as well, but there's a sign just behind you as well. In here? Careful, though. You're in Zombie Central. Oh, here? Oh, just there. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. If you are literally in Zombie Central. Oh, cool! I love it. <laughs> oh, you're in Market. So you're on Market Street. This is where I want to be. Yeah. Right we have found the location we want to be. Yeah. So you recognise the sign? Yeah, that's. Uh, is that this one? Uh, yeah. Okay. I I seriously love this level because of the fact that it it. Ooh. Right, it makes you uh, it makes you pay attention to the environment. Look <laughs> at that little troop of fellas over there. <laughs> They're just just boys hanging out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> What's better than this? Guys being dudes. Boys night on the town. <laughs> just walking back from the pub. <laughs> Oh, this is it. They're, 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 this isn't actually uh, post-apocalyptic. This is actually England after we lost. Yeah, they're not actually zombies. They're just drunk people. They're just they're just coming home. Just drunk uh, British people. <laughs> you see, if you reverse if you reverse the zombie moans, you'll hear a slurred. It's coming home. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then they stole that for Half-Life Two. Um, oh yeah, I don't know where I am. <sighs> I found myself in a little place here. Oh, there was something there that just highlighted. Yeah, just just behind you, I think. Oh, fire arrows. That's yeah, there you cool. go. Oh, careful! When you have fire arrows out, it raises your light gem ever so slightly. Yes. Yeah, oh, go. I almost fell in that hole. Oh, careful of the hole. Yeah, just uh, for those yes. of you who are just tuning in, um, it might look bright on the stream. I am not seeing it the same way. I brightened it for the on on OBS. Um, but I'm seeing a much darker environment, so if I... <laughs> yeah, Connor is struggling in the dark right yeah. now. Might want to quick save before doing that jump, actually. I Yeah, it's a little bit of a low uh, ceiling here, so I'm just gonna... Yeah. I just thought I'd walk. That's... <laughs> Deathloop does look very nice. I'm really looking forward to it, especially oh, yeah. how um, they're, they're doing some of the multiplayer aspects. I, I'm really quite interested in that. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be kind of cool. It's September, isn't it, uh, Deathloop? Uh, yeah, it's coming. I, I think that's that's might, that might be cool. one I pick up on release. Oh, it's yeah, it's it's arcane, so I feel pretty open. good about it, honestly. Yeah. All right, so this is still Market Street, apparently. What the hell is that? Oh, careful! Spy Those are spiders. Just warning you now. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyone who's arachnophobic. Careful. Uh, actually, Vfig, I know you may, you're may you the creator of the incredibly incredibly well-made anti-spider mod for Thief. Um, 
Sadly, we're not using that in today's in in this playthrough. It, it was offered to um, me, but I I I, uh, I I decided I needed to face my fears. So uh, I did. Yeah, I did. I did offer it, but uh... <laughs> I'm just trying to. Okay, I'm occasionally looking over at the OBS. I'm like, is there a beam there? There is a beam there. Okay, but I don't. I see think it. there is a beam. I think there is a beam like right in front of you. Yeah, I I can barely see it on the Discord actually. Yeah. Right, I think on. that I think that is a beam though. Shit. Oh yeah, it's gonna be big spiders, which you can kill with a single arrow to the back. Uh, you... Uh oh. Press three. I think you should be fine. Yeah, yeah. And then just... there you go. That one's dead. Where's the other one? So there's one more somewhere. Oh, you might want to press tilt so you can actually see normally. Okay. Yeah. Woo. So there's another somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, there it is, Hello. yeah. I never want to hear the term <laughs> thick spiders. I didn't say thick spiders! What? <laughs> it's a good thing I can see in the dark better than the spiders can. <laughs> <laughs> the, those are like the worst kind of spiders to me. The ones that have like thick bodies but spindly legs. It's the spindly oh, legs that yeah. get me. If it's like a Skyrim yeah. spider where it's got like, the, you know, the big fluffy legs, the big eyes. Like, oh, they're cute. I like them. <laughs> But it's the spindly ones. I, I can't get away with the spindly ones. Yeah. Is that it... mod was how I learned to use Dromed. Someone else had made such a mod for System Shock 2, so I mostly copied that. Oh, hey, it works. And, hey, that helps you learn Dromed. That's, that's honestly great, because Dromed, I've I've tried so many times to, to finish a level. I was trying to, to do a, a mission for the 1 million units contest. I know you'll know about that. Um, Dromed, I mean, you'll know this. Dromed is... An interesting beast. <laughs> Dromed is scarier than the spiders. Yeah, honestly, it is. It is. But we're addicted. All, all the people who use Dromed, we love it all the same. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've watched Chloe uh, do a bit of Dromed. It's like, it's like, to me, it looks a little bit like Hammer, but also like not like Hammer. Yeah, I mean the thing yeah. I, I tried to make it a bit more like Hammer because I'm using I'm using some custom dev textures. Um, oh yeah, because yeah. I, can, I cannot stand the default uh, dev texture, which is lovingly referred to as George. Yeah, um, is that the uh, is that the sort of uh, checkerboard type thing? The like disgusting checkerboard yeah. triangle thing, otherwise known as the bitrate killer. <laughs> the bitrate um, killer. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Ah! Oh. I I. You might, yeah, maybe use a rope arrow just to skip the whole climbing thing. It's okay, I can do this, I can do this. I don't oh, need to use my rope arrow. See, in, yeah, interestingly, cool. I'm I'm one of the few people who actually loves the first person platforming in, in Thief. It actually, it feels pretty good. I get, uh, like, when you get it right, it's like, it's like oh, hell When yeah. you get it right, yeah. it's very satisfying. Yeah, the first person movement in Thief is, is super nice. I can't even access the uh, Hang on, let me... I'm going to send you a picture of George so that people on stream can see what George looks okay. like. Um, because it is a disgusting texture. <laughs> it is... I, 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 I hate it so much. Let me just quick save. Okay, here, I'm sending it, I'm sending it to you. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I've sent it to you on Discord. There we go. Okay, um, let me let me just uh, grab that then and see if I can put it on stream. Um, all right, let me open that up in here and then just quickly, just so I can show you all. Uh, this is the only dev texture that they have by default. This is George. <laughs> Say hello to George. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> it, it it isn't very pleasant to look at. I will give you that. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, is it, is it Jorge? <laughs> is it Jorge? <laughs> yeah. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's a mystery left unsolved. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I I've made it back through here. Okay. Ah, uh, well done. So that's one objective done. Yeah, I did it, and I, I figured oh, out how to oh. accomplish it as well. Well done. I used the coins on the thing. There's my adventure game brain at work. <laughs> All right, so now we've got to get into the cathedral, I think, right? Uh, and grab 2,000 loot. 
And you have the serpentile talk to worry about. Yes, and I don't know where that is. Um, I'm assuming we'll have to find something that, uh, like a document that tells us where it is. Uh, so, if I remember correctly, something like that. Um, or I think it's like somewhat easy to find. Um, it's safe. Might be a little bit of a struggle. Uh, but give it a try. <laughs> Don't take damage there. How far? Yeah, you took you took one shield of damage. Oh, that's a good. How far in has this been? Uh, so this is about, yeah, just about past the halfway point. Ah, oh, I see me. Oh, spotted, spotted, but you're okay, you're okay. Do you see me? Oh, they no, see me. So. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 he was too alert. Too yeah, alert. yeah. Oh, that's not a place I want to be. I'm gonna get cornered. Bro. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Wait, wait, wait! Do you have any flash bombs? Do you have any flash bombs? No, it's, okay. it's okay. They're fighting each other, I think. Yeah, they are. Yeah, zombies. Zombies and Burrocks do not get along. I hope the Burrock won. I don't think it won. Oh! It didn't win. <laughs> no, baby. Maybe no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, zombies. Be zombies basically can't die, so they'll never. W so the Burrocks will never win. Aww. It's very, it's very sad. I don't like this situation. Burrocks are kind of cute. I like the Burrocks, even though in the concept art they look somewhat, you know, slightly more terrifying. They remind me of. Um, um, I think I said this before. But they remind me of of, of Guaz from from Morrowind. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Sort of the bipedal wonder, lizard thing. Yeah, I wonder if there was any sort of direct inspiration there. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Oh, oh. oh uh, I think you're climbing out of bounds. Um, That's fine. <laughs> which is which is something you can do. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks to the fan patch that we're using. <laughs> Uh, cause mantling, mantling Ooh. in, uh, in Thief is a bit inconsistent at the best of times. Uh, and with the new dark patch, there, there was a, there was a new mantling code. Which is more consistent, but also a bit more forgiving in certain things. Come on. Oh god. Up a bit, up a bit maybe. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh no! no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get off the thing! God damn it! It jumped! What? It can jump! <laughs> Zombies! <laughs> oh my god. I alerted everything there! <laughs> I just put me in a blind panic. I, I didn't realize they could also oh. jump. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Harper, for those 300 bits. Rest in peace, sweet lizard thing. Also, rest in peace, me. Um, <laughs> did I quick save? Or, I think I quick saved, didn't I? What was the last I one I did? I think you may have, yeah. It's back up here. Oh, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. That's okay. I wonder if there's like a stable base to drop off. I think, um, yeah, maybe there is. Maybe I can make it over to this. I, you probably can, yeah. Ooh. And then just drop down. You should be okay. There we yeah, are. Quick save now. So, What's this? Oh, you could probably oh, you could probably bash that open with your sword. Okay. Wait, Maybe wait. not when the, the zombies are. Oh, do um do stop things. Overheads. Oh. Okay. Uh, I need to move. Oh 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 oh. oh. Uh, I need to move. Dent in the same. Remember you never mind. Uh oh. The zombies. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. <laughs> well, well I, you know. Yeah. I've, I've, I've created a, a safe stay. room. Yeah. No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, bad place to drop down. Guess good. This is fine. 
chased by a ah! baby boy. No! Oh God, right there. <laughs> Might want to use your wall arrows on those guys. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, so I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> these enemies are goofy. I love these guys. It's kind of silly. <laughs> it's just, like, if you look at their texture, it's literally just a dude on fire. Eat that. If one more hit. Oh, go, go. Oh, wait, actually, wait. Hold on. Oh, no, yeah, I think you're fine. No, you can just run away here. Uh. Uh oh. Ah, you jumped off the ladder, no! I, I didn't realize there was a ladder there, I couldn't see it. Hold on, I'm gonna reload. It's too dark! <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> I, lo I love. Isn't that isn't that just like the default thruster sound that's used in Gmod, by the way? I uh, I guess so. Oh come on! <laughs> if it's not one problem, it's another. There you go. Pro. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a lot of spiders. <laughs> I'm having a day. <laughs> 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 Have either of us delved into Cruelty Squad? I, I, I own Cruelty Squad, but I haven't had the chance to play it. No, I've, I've, been, I've been looking forward to jumping into Cruelty Squad at some point. Oh. Oh, the beating up a... Oh, no! Oh, no! Run away! <laughs> run away! <laughs> Jesus! Why this is it all is, happening, man? This game is the uh, electronic equivalent of this is fine. <laughs> okay, I'm you hearing... can try killing some of the zombies by putting down a mine and like getting them all to walk over it. Okay, hold on. Save. No, don't forget, you can also press R to drop a mine like right in front of you. Rather, right click will just throw it. It'll take a minute to activate, and uh... Oh yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Damn. And then you can just pick up the gibs, uh, the jibs. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Spider. <laughs> he do be going. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that, spy that spider's got places to be. <laughs> Can we just run around the corner? <laughs> I love that. I love this game. It is, it is uh, somewhat silly. It, it, it's silly at the best. Oh, that's an alive, that's an alive zombie. Yeah, this this game can be silly in the best possible way. Okay, where the hell am I it's going? A, it's, it's a good kind of goofy. So Cathedral Street is where I want to go next, I guess. Let's look in here. Is that a spider? That's a plant. That's a plant. <laughs> I couldn't tell with the darkness. It had like things that going out like that. I wasn't I wasn't certain. Oh, there's a chest there, though. Yeah. Probably about that jump. <laughs> it's like a lock shape. Okay, uh... Triangle. Okay. Holy water. Yeah. Now you want some of that? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe check your map. Um, oh, the lock! Yeah. Ah, that's where I so am. You're actually, you're actually pretty close to the cathedral, oh. so maybe worth giving this play. Maybe giving it worth giving a looking around a bit. Yeah. Uh, oh, that zombie's just kind of given up. I on don't you. want to climb up here. <laughs> I have a feeling that might take you out of bounds. Oh, okay. 
But you can, yeah, feel free to. Feel okay. free to. You never know what you might find. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I, can't, I can't actually get my uh, my thing through numbers, my rope arrow. It doesn't come up when oh, I read really? them. No. Oh, I, can, I, I can get it through uh, through this, though. Like the, yeah. the square brackets. Okay. Well, that missed. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, by, de by default it should be eight. Yeah, but for some reason it's not ah! working for you. No. Okay. Right. Nice dive. 10 out of 10. That, well, where's my save? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Did I? Uh, did I, get uh, I think save? you did save. I think you did save. Check both saves. Okay. Let's have the quick save. Okay. I I think. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't open the uh, chest. Yeah. Didn't open the chest. That's fine. Oh. Well. <laughs> uh. Also, yeah. Was that the unlocking door sound from Resident Evil Remake? Uh. Yeah. Thief has a lot of stock sound effects. Oh yeah. Um. In fact, I'm pretty sure Thief is mostly stock sound effects. So, a lot of um, older games were. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, most of the Half-Life soundtrack, Half-Life 1 soundtrack, and even the Half-Life 2 soundtrack was, like, stock music libraries. The uh, soundtracks um, from Doom, like a very prime example. Yeah. Yeah, they're in all sorts. But the thing is, is that I, asso I associate all the sounds with Thief. Uh... I, I associate, associate it so heavily with Thief that whenever I hear it in other things, I go, Oh, that's the sounds from Thief. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking time. Yeah, I mean, ah! Uh, I, I don't think I can get up there. You okay. probably can. You're just approaching it at a very weird angle. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Okay. There you go. There you go. There is nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's not. <laughs> no. Wait, can you jump? Can you jump and see if you hit a ceiling? Oh no, no. yeah, no, not I'm big enough. Save up here. <laughs> <laughs> Just jump in the water. Is that the best place to go? Must be. Woo! Did a pencil dive. Right, where does this take me then? Oh, hold on. Before I do that, just in case I drown. Yeah, good idea. Although you also picked up a breath potion earlier. So I did actually. That. Yeah. Yeah. Although maybe save that for the maybe for the better. Okay. Oh, you're just outside. You're just outside. Okay. How do I get back up? Oh, there was a ladder. You just went that? Oh well. It's dark. I see it. <laughs> Most of Doom One soundtrack is based off of the uh, metal songs. Yeah, oh, a lot of in Doom Two as well. Um, and yeah, it's it's kind of funny, really, but it works. Yeah, yeah, you can we can draw like a direct sort of comparison between part of Doom. All right, uh, I. So Hello. many dead brooks, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, there's another. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, <laughs> thank you. Is this right? Oh, they're fighting. Yeah, yeah explore this spot. Explore this area, why not? Alright. It's always good to explore. <clears throat> Poor Burks. I don't know what this okay, have you have you seen the zombie wiggle? Was like the zombie wiggle? Uh, yeah, like <sighs> occasionally zombies will just do like a little wiggle. <laughs> Thief Two had a metal soundtrack too in one mission and only in Germany. Yeah. Oh look, it's doing the zombie wiggle. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> they just do that occasionally, and I love it. Yeah, um, hang on, let me see if I can find the song that VFix is talking about. Well, like, I guess they do call it the Metal Age, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I can make thief jokes. <laughs> you can make thief jokes now. Let me see if I can find the song. Got some things. Got some stuff and things. From what I recall, it's only used in the credits. Or maybe not. Actually, yeah. Or at least I only remember it being oh. in the credits. Oh, hi guys. 
Oh, God. I've just ended the problem zone. Jesus. Ah, Garrett is a fearless guy. Oh, there's a ghost. We got ghosts. Framed in gem release at a soundtrack. Did, oh. Did they, they actually had a song in in that level framed? Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I found I I found the song in question, which I've just linked. Do the ghosts have an official name? Ghosts. Just ghosts. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, just ghosts. Um, you could call them like Hammerite ghosts or something like that, because um, most of them tend to be uh, in Hammerite garb. That's okay. Least. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna wait. For, I'm gonna wait for the ghost to turn around again, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll bop him. Yeah. Violently. Oh, you can't hold down the attack for too long, otherwise Garrett. Garrett gets a little tired. Mm. Garrett's got weak little arms. Okay. Go on, run at him. What? Yeah! One more hit, should do it. Okay. Woo! I didn't realize they had that music in, in framed. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, hey, there's another what one. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't even know he was up there. What the fuck? What are you doing up there? I think I saw some loot behind you, by the way, like towards the destruction. Uh, yeah, was that like a gem or something? Is this the cataclysm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that happened then? All the stuff falling over? Say again? All the, the cataclysm that made the map uh, out of date? Yeah. Okay. So, hey, you're on you're on the right path there. Okay. The I'm at 675 uh, loot. Gotta get to 2000. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I think I can do that. Yeah, you know, take up all your main objectives and then go for a bit of an exploration. And then, that, and then that ghost is just going to be vibing up there. I love this visual, by the way. This is really cool. Oh, yeah. This. This is so fucking good. I love this. All right. I... This... I... I... I, I feel like a pang of fear there. Like an awe. Like, just looking at this place. <laughs> it's just really cool. It's so good. Oh, these are interactable. Interesting. And they have sort of uh, runes beneath them? Elemental runes. Because uh, you got uh, fire, water, earth, and air. Got was, a plaque the, above the door. Were there elemental runes in, in the Gloomwood demo? I need to remember that. I actually don't know. Great evil resides in this place and is no but... longer fit for men. Oh, hold on. The doors are sealed to protect us from that which lies within. Do not remain here. Cool. Let's go in there. <laughs> this is a Hammerite place, clearly. I mean, if the ghost didn't give it, give it away, the big honking hammers in the windows did. <laughs> what? What's the what's, what's, what's Rachel <laughs> laughing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what's so funny? There's a man to rescue me. Poor man. The keepers have sealed the door. And only they know how to open them. Cross you the bridge. Follow the eye's directions in order to learn how to get inside the cathedral. Also, I don't know, my, my, my was laughing at something. 
that is a really cool way to introduce the objectives. Yeah. So like like peering through this window that you can't Come get through. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, my girlfriend's just laughing at right wingers losing their fucking minds over stupid bullshit. <laughs> oh yeah, the norm. <laughs> I mean, as you, as you do. Yeah. <laughs> Stand on the pedestal, limit such as fire. Okay. If you need a bit of help with that, obviously. I, I, I'm not sure it's sticking in my head, but uh. But yeah, there you go. The eye spoke to you. That's pretty cool. That's not strange. <laughs> it's not strange. I'm, I'm sure this, this <laughs> delivering this to. The weird guy with the weird house is oh, not a um, bad idea in any stretch of the yeah. imagination. Did you see the uh, Did you see the enemies inside the cathedral, by the way? Yeah, they look like hammerites. Hmm. But I. They look like hammerites. Yeah, but I'm not sure that they are hammerites. <laughs> <laughs> Talking jewels is quite normal. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, maybe for thief. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of bones. Is that something coming I can just outside tell. my window, or is that like in the game? What is what? 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 The wind? No, it's just no. I mean, it's just kids outside. <laughs> um, but like, one of them made like a noise, like a, like a almost like a howling noise, and I'm like, that, would, <laughs> that wouldn't be out of place here. But I, I, it, it sounds like it's, no, it's it not coming from my headphones. <laughs> yeah, just bones. Shiver me bones. Rattle me bones. Booms. I'm a big boy now. This is I, I still think uh <laughs> Thank you for the seventy five bits, what can I? I still think uh the, the haunted cathedral is it's it's such a well constructed piece of geometry yeah. geometry, honestly. There is something so charming and almost timeless about like late 90s 3d environmental design mm. i still love it so much like look at that look yeah. at that the way does the, the lighting the li is so cool the lighting yeah. and everything it's so good yeah i think it's very like rudimentary like a lot, lot of like uh sort of basic shapes but it works it works you i i honestly don't think you need anything more complicated than that and i love thing i love like techniques like ray tracing and everything like yeah. that yeah i do but i i i just love it there's there's so much of a cohesion between Technical direction and artistic direction. I got with stuff like this. I'll be honest, like they, I'm looking at this on like on my stream, but it looks even better like with like the the original gamma, I think. Mm. Um, like, yeah. it, it, there's a lot more contrast there. Like, but even on the stream, yeah. it looks good. Oh, yeah, definite. Okay, so. and seeing seeing some of the work that people in the fan mission community have made mm -hmm. it's it's honestly insane there are times that some people have put out stuff uh, fan missions for thief that genuinely rivals some of the visual quality of like, modern games yeah. it's insane it's insane because it's done with an engine <laughs> that's quite ancient <laughs> it's always even by yeah, um, yeah it, it's it's honestly super impressive right so i'm, I'm not entirely oh. sure where to go right now so it's said to go to the place of the keeper's grotto so, the keepers what do you think that might be? Grotto. Keepers. What do you know key? about the keepers? Uh, maybe. Keepers. Uh, remind me who the keepers are. The keepers are the faction, the the secretive faction that Garrett was a part of, uh, okay. and was uh, was basically invited into as a child. Uh, right. He left. He left instead, not wanting to be a part of the sort of secret society instead wanting to put his skills to a thievery instead so yeah is it the yeah, cross the, the lock shape is that yes. right yeah so the the symbol the symbol of the keepers uh is that of a lock right keyhole yes because they are the lock that guards all knowledge just need to remember how to get there uh turn right 
Yeah, about, about that way. There's the guy in the... <laughs> I, 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 I know this level almost just off by heart. I've played this level so many times. Such a wonderful level. Alright, he's gonna make sure I don't... And confusing! It, it's, it's one that you learn more. It, you get so accustomed to it, uh, mm -hmm. the more you kind of replay it. Um, yeah, I, I really love replaying this yeah, one. Bird. And if you encounter if you encounter the conga line of zombies again, you know what exactly what to do with your um oh, your God. mine. Oh, that would be that would be quite uh, an explosion, wouldn't it? Yeah. Aha, this is where I want to be, isn't it? So cross the bridge into the keeper's grotto. Stand you upon the symbol and alight the statue. Okay, this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, you might. Yeah, you won't make it because you got the sword out. That's a good point. I don't have it out now. Okay, so we want to equip fire arrows. And, yeah, stand upon the, sta the symbol and alight the statue. You might have missed. You missed, They yes. They travel quite, uh, quite straight, those ones. Yeah, so fire arrows never drop. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Also, we have a taco cam. Taco cam. From Tamers. Speaking of fireballs, <laughs> it's meatball. I, I, this, this was a great purchase. Like, I definitely spent way too much getting this bus caco, but it was definitely worth it's it. It's so good though. Yeah. It's so good. It's so big and fluffy. I know. Perfect. <laughs> He's a sweet boy. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely caco. Exactly. Exactly. Gotta love the caco. Ooh. Ah, you're in. Okay. Inside at last, some might say. Inside at last, are ya? See, um, that, that that line is just a thief reference. Is that, it? That is lich yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's a line that Garrett says. Um and in fact there's a there's a fan podcast called Inside at Last as well. Cool. Um it's such a niche Easter egg, um, like reference. Yeah. Um, like Dishonored Two has one single line, uh, because St Stephen Russell voices Corvo Atano in Dishonored. Oh, does he? Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, they have um, they have him say, uh, and they have him say another famous line. Uh, That's a long way down, uh, which is another bit of a meme line from Thief. Cat on um, stream. Only thief fans will get that. <laughs> I love that. Did you see cat on stream? <gasps> oh! She she started brushing oh! up by my feet, so I guess she wants some oh, attention. I can hear them. She's she's, she's them. honking. Oh! This, this is the noise my cat makes. She like makes like honking noises. She's a very bizarre cat, but we love her. Oh! Like she's just unusual. In, like all stretches of the imagination. Like first of all. She's ginger. Most ginger cats are male, so she's booked the trend there. And then she just likes to make weird noises all the time. Um, <laughs> like she just honks. <laughs> she just goes. Arr, arr. <laughs> yeah, they just want so much attention. Yeah, if you want a, an emote, by the way, uh, I, one of my one of my subscriber emotes is uh, is this cat. Yeah. All right. So what's this? What's the deal with this room? Hmm. She's on my I wonder. now. <laughs> what, what was said? Come, so come on, you come on, come on, can I use your adventure brain here? Rubble. Looks like this place was built by my old pals, the keepers. I wonder what they're hiding in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was my first okay. instinct. Let me pop this. So, key. What, what was something specifically said about this room? Uh, no. However, you're on the right track. I'll tell you that. Okay. Might just need a bit more weight uh, on that. There we go. Oh. 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 oh you need oh. a. May, maybe you need both active. Okay. I see. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, I tell you what. 
You're gonna have to time this. We'll put this one on here as well. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, right. Uh, press, ah. press R. Ah, yeah, ah. yeah, there you go. So keep that one there. Okay. And then... Wait for this to open. Yep, there you go. And rush through. Speed on in. And quick save. Alright! Yeah, because I feel like there's going to be something on the floor that will hurt me. I don't trust this floor. <laughs> Never trust a tile floor. I don't trust that one especially. <laughs> yeah, that one seems a bit yeah. suspect. <laughs> We try leaning forward. Uh, what's the button for that? I always forget that one. Uh, v. There's V. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just reminded of that, um... You know the new uh, Beavis and Butthead meme? Where the guy oh, leans yeah. forward. <laughs> <laughs> we will definitely be talking about the Haunted Cathedral. <laughs> This does. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Follow that. I packs. love the ambience of this place. This is so spooky. I love it. Ooh, a library. And a key. The keepers do love their books. And whatever this thing is. A key. Cool. That was not what I expected a key to look like, but uh, I will take it. <laughs> <clears throat> key of some descript, yeah. And some letters. Keeper Andros, we are relieved to hear that you have successfully contained the destruction. It was for su just such a contingency that the elemental wards have been saved these many years. I guess that's what those things are that go on the, uh, the statues. Um, and we support your decision to use them now, as the peril that you have described is grave indeed. We urge you to hide the talismans with great care, as their discovery could lead to another such catastrophe. We worry also that your actions have exposed the truth of our existence to the world, which we must not allow. Yours in knowledge, Keeper Lucas. Keeper Lucas, we have received word of your fears, and we understand and indeed share them. We did not lightly take the decision to involve ourselves in this matter. However, we believe that we were compelled to act. Were the trickster not opposed, he could bring destruction upon the entire city. And upon us all as well. And upon us as well. Uh, we have endeavoured to conceal our efforts as best we can. I can only hope that we have been successful. He also knowledge keeper Andrus. The trickster. It's such beautifully written <laughs> flavor text. I, I love <laughs> like, flavor text. It's, so, it's, just, it's just so simple, but yeah. it's, just so, it's just so effective. I, I, I would love to write flavor text for a game. <laughs> oh, it seems so that's, fun. Yeah, that's that's it, part of why I want to get into like D and D DMing. <laughs> so. Yeah, and honestly, that's the one that's the one thing that I absolutely adore about uh, fan mission stuff for Thief is that you don't need to go heavy on like plot and scripted mm -hmm. sequences and stuff like that. You can literally just tell your story through flavor text. Yeah, and it worked so well. A Genuinely, different kind of engagement that way as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I need a key for that. I'm assuming the one I picked up. You assume correctly. <laughs> pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty basic one there. <laughs> All right, what's this? Upon this map are the locations of the elemental talismans, which alone can unlock the ward's place upon the cathedral door. The locations are recorded here in the event that we may one day find it necessary to re-enter the cathedral. The portal key in the library must be used to access the lost city entrance, where the talisman of fire is being kept. The water talisman has been hidden in a shrine located in the caverns below the old quarter of the city. The talisman of air is being kept by the Hammerites, and the earth talisman was left to the Hand of Brotherhood. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Right. I see. I'm gonna get some talismans. So, that's actually a usable thing then. There you go. Oh, wow. Um, this is a... Uh, basically a, a map of sorts. Well, it is a map, but like yeah. a new... A, a, a new old map. <laughs> a new old map, yeah, exactly. I, I love what this is doing, because this is effectively advertising the next four levels that you're going to be doing. Oh! Oh, so are we not... 
Oh, wait, are we getting these talismans in this level, or...? You are going to need to find the talismans in order to open up the, the cathedral. Right. And you won't be doing that today. Here I was thinking... Oh! Oh! Yeah. My goodness! You're done. Yeah, oh! So you just got to get the loot. That wasn't what I was And expecting. the Serpentile Talk. All oh, right. The Serpentile Talk. Uh, I need to figure out where that one is. And I okay, I've reminded myself where the Serpentile Talk is, and it's a bit, it's it's in a bit of a devilish location. Right. Um. So if you need a, a hand with that, I can very clearly signpost that to you. Uh, I might do. Is there any more loot in here? Do you think? Uh, no, there is not. As right. far as I, I how much do I need to find? It's about a thousand and something, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's about two thousand. I believe there's like a way to open this. Hang on. Um... Uh, is that like a button or something. Yeah, there you go. Love oh, it. Yeah. Bazing. Bazing. <laughs> um, okay. Well, that was... That was... I wasn't expecting uh, to, like, basically be told, oh, actually, you can't do this right now. This is uh, kind of surprising in a good way. In a good way. Yeah. yeah I, I really love it when it... I, I really love Thief for that. Um, it surprises you in a lot of interesting ways. Also, you might want to uh, maybe check. I just bang my head on the ceiling. Ow. <laughs> and again. Hold on. Oh, come on. Maybe I can't. Oh. You might need to use uh, rope arrow for that. Okay, yeah. Also, hello, Banshee. Hey, Maddie. Hello, Maddie. How are you doing? I'm just, I'm just uh, thieving. That's not. What? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I thought it was. Oh, hi, zombie. Hey, how you doing, zombie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a spine. That's a nice spine. Uh, uh, there's some loot in here. So... Is there? Yeah, it's on the floor. Like, behind you? Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh. Yeah, there you go. That's some. Alright, so you've got 1,125 to go. That's doable. That's doable. Could you stop breathing so loud, buddy? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I lay down on the couch go for 10 minutes and I fell asleep for like two hours. Hun, that's relatable as fuck. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> okay. Where do I want to be then? Hmm. Do I want to be <laughs> down here? Yeah. Massive shit. <laughs> oh! Well, I'm down here now. You're down here now. Might as well go for a little explore. Okay. I'm sure there must be something down here. I don't recognize it. Have I been here? Uh, you have not, no. Okay. Maybe put your sword away in case you need a roll. Oh, good point. Yeah, I always do that. Uh, there we go. Oh, you have you have been here. Okay, Paper. so you've been in there, but not in the from the direction that you've just come from. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. That's a sleeping bird. That's not a dead one. Yeah, that's one you. <laughs> I like how yeah. it's just like face planted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You can almost imagine like the the Windows XP shutdown. <laughs> <laughs> right, mate. Should I go down here? Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe go down here and go left because you didn't explore that way. Just there. Okay. Maybe maybe you can't go up that way. Yeah. There. There oh yeah, I saw the the Nickelodeon uh, uh, Smash Bros. clone. It looks. Uh... <laughs> it looks. Interesting. Well, the thing and is, it's coming. It's coming to PC. Like, hello. No, oh, hold on. Why can't? Oh, I... it might be because it might be because the water's too deep, so it, the game might think that you're in water, like swimming, technically. Oh crap. Oh well, just just one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sleep sleep schedules suck. I mean, I'm I'm. I'm significantly. I'm. I don't know if it's my SSRIs exactly, but I. I, I am even oh, more hi. sleepy than usual. Um. 
Just some mercs. Just some mercs. Of all the, like, uh, one of my favorite things from C4, <laughs> weirdly enough, is the fact that they're, the Burricks oh. do get a t the Burricks do get a tiny, tiny reference yeah. in C4. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, just a tiny reference. Mm. They don't actually show up, but there's enough of a reference for me to go, oh, that's kind of cute. I, I... Also, I am of the, I am of the opinion that there needs to be a Burrick plushie, because I would buy that in an oh instant. Oh my god. Limited run games, you need to get on that. I don't know if you do push. Come on, limited run. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, like a uh, fan game or something. One of those sites. I don't know. I had to do all that. I know there's a, there are a couple of posters that I want to buy. Um, there's an artist called Dominus who's done, who's actually done the key art for Gloomwood. Oh, um, yeah. The, uh, the, Dominus, cool. yeah, Dominus has done some fan art of Thief and honestly, it's just absolutely superb. Awesome. Um, I, I would very much like, oh, you haven't been down there. Down here? No, no, no. Turn, turn back. Oh, down here. Yeah, you, have, you haven't been down there. Yeah. Right, I'll quick save then. Oh, so yeah, a bur a Burrick plushie. I would, I would just be all over that. I love that. Commission someone on Etsy. Oh! oh my god, actually. What the hell? Oh, that's, that's a no. crazy. <laughs> Greatest regret with making a profit is that I run out of time to put Burricks in. No! Uh, especially with that amazing like cave sequence as well. That would have been a perfect place for some birds. Sneak up on me, will ya? <laughs> He's got him, though. <laughs> this guy actually gets scared of me a little. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see me. He's just like, what's up? I'm a gray man. <laughs> <laughs> he just shows up. <laughs> Ooh, scary guy. <laughs> what up? I'm a gray man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, that might be a bit of loot. Yeah, there you go. A little hammer. A little hammer. Okay, so we're over halfway through the loot. Yeah. And there's a pool. Pool here. Yeah, yeah. I want to save. Good idea. What is Honestly, um, ma making a profit is, is uh, so great. You got me thinking, you being here, V-Figures, just got me thinking about it again. I, I, I have the, um, you made the source files for <laughs> making a profit public, and I, I love... I really love booting up uh, the like in development parts of that level and just getting inspired by it because there's so much cool stuff in that level. Honestly, it's so good. Um, I will eventually get something done for Thief. I will. I. I... <laughs> so many... <laughs> there's so many maps which I've started and not not finished. It sucks. That's, uh, that's like me with the uh, Source Engine maps. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I have dabbled with, like, the Source Engine map in VRs, but I've never really finished a project. I came close with a TF2 map. Um, yeah, but to be honest, and it was, a de yeah. it was a decent TF2 map as well. Yeah. Yeah. It was um, King of the Hill, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I think if I was yeah. to revisit that one, I would probably re-theme it, because uh, I think that the part of where I went wrong with it was kind of, I started theming it too early, and then it kind of ended up a bit messy. Yeah, theming theming can work if mm -hmm. you kind of like if you, yeah theming theming early on could be a could be a great idea, because um, it can, it can give you like a it's it's like setting a limited palette yeah, you, know? uh, you can kind of work around some of those restrictions, um, yeah uh, dozens of unfinished TF2 maps a fair number of unfinished Thief maps now too, yeah I I. I I, I'm, I'm looking. If you do get back to thief mapping, I'm, I'm really looking forward to whatever you produce next. Because there were, because one of the projects that you were doing, that kind of, that castle projects, where you were using a lot of alchemy stuff, that was really cool. I, I, I know it ended up kind of not panning out because of the, some of the te technical limitations of Drumhead and Thief, but um, there was there was some really cool stuff going on there. Um, God, I. I wish my I wish I could fucking focus on <laughs> mapping. I would I would I would be an absolute machine. I yeah. love the I, I, so much. I, I want to try mapping for different games at some point. Like I, I've mostly done like TF2 yeah. or like Gmod stuff over the years. But yeah, um... I've been trying to like I've dabbled a bit in um, Doom, Quake, and Dark Mod mm. mapping as well. And it, it's so like they all have their own quirks and limitations and everything. Um, but honestly, it's just, it's so much fun just fiddling with it. Castle didn't work for the mission concept. Oh, okay, fair enough. It could be something else in the future. That's really cool. Because um, I remember it looked 
damn impressive. And I was um, so the the kind of the pro the, so the process that Vfig was using. Mm -hmm. um, I've I've explained this to you before, Connor. But um, there's there's the way that thief mapping works is that you're basically using different sort of operations. Um, you're kind of carving out air. You're using airbrushes to carve out stuff. Uh, yeah. To carve out solid brushes and stuff. And one of the one of the little quirky things that Thief has is it's got operation brushes called fill water, uh, where you basically fill a volume with water, <laughs> and then you can use these other you can use these other operations like turn water to solid, <laughs> where you can basically like get these really interesting constructions done. Um, hmm. It's very fucking weird, and super niche, and definitely not at all what I would recommend in a modern engine. But for Thief, it somehow works. Interesting. Um, yeah, and yeah, what Vfic was doing is was, it, they, they were using uh, those operation brushes to create a very organic kind of cliff face, um, and right. like sort of yeah, they were like built. It was kind of like you're you're building stuff in a way that looks <laughs> off grid, but it's not off grid. It's actually totally on grid, and it's soup. It's <laughs> it's fucking difficult, but really cool if when you get it right. Um, in my in my uh, in, in a couple of my missions, I was using uh, operation brushes like that to um, create absolutely cursed uh, like support beams and spiral staircases and stuff like that. And it worked. And I didn't I I didn't go over budget or anything. And it looked it looked pretty good. I I just hate looking at it in the editor because it's um it's just spaghetti. <laughs> All right, now comes the difficult part of one of these levels where it's like, where the hell do you go next? Yeah. Oh, oh nice job. Can I get past them? So, do you want to do you want a bit of a clue as to where you might want to tick off the next objective? Yeah, perhaps. Okay. Uh, bring me a map. Oh, let me climb up here. So, <laughs> where it says wool. Yes. You see where it says wall yes, at the yeah. top? Okay. There's a little there's do you see where there's that little road just beneath it? Mm-hmm. That's where the serpentile talk is located. Right, okay. So, so you, right area. you need to fit so basically what you need to do is you need to figure out how to get to that place. But it's in the nor it's in the it's in the north west. Yeah, northwest basically. Um I'm trying to remember exactly how you get there. Um you have to climb over some sort of wall or something. Uh Northwest. We want to be going over into this direction. What you need to do is you need to go to the parent. Oh wait, okay. Hang on. Do you want me? Do you want me to just guide you directly? You might, maybe help. Well, oh, ghost. Yeah. Br bring up your, bring up your map just quickly. Hold on. It'll be paused. It'll be paused. Oh, so you'll yeah. be safe. So okay. Your, you see where Cathedral Street is? Yes. Yeah. You see how it goes all the way around up to a bridge? Yeah. That goes past the wall. So you basically want to go to the drawbridge, um, okay. there, um, yeah. And okay. That should hopefully guide you in the right direction. Okay. So how do we get there? Oh, check the sign just behind you. Uh, check the sign behind you. Deparin. Does that say Deparin? Yes. Yeah. So maybe check some of the houses around here, and it might point you in the right direction. Okay. Okay, so Deparin Street is over there on the left. Being through here. Oh wait, no, I remember where it is now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Oh, maybe jump up, uh, jump up top there. Oh, there's a there's a lever there. Yeah. I can see. I don't know if that's actually used. It's opened something. I opened something. Yeah. Turn left, maybe. What did it open? I don't know. Maybe it's below below you. I actually don't know what that opens. <laughs> I, I heard it open something, but I don't know what. <laughs> oh, he's wiggling. <gasps> the wiggle. <laughs> I, lo I, I love the wiggle so much. Wait, look up, look up for me. Is there anything around you that? We can... Oh, hold oh, on, the ladder. Ah, I did not go. see it. Uh, there's a couple things here. Oh, just some, just some useful items. Okay. 
And there's, some, there's something else on the floor there. Breath potion. Oh, just a breath potion. That's useful. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think you are near where you need to go. You remember where that drawbridge was where you had to, kind of had to jump in the water to get away from the ghost? Yes. Yeah, I think that's where you're supposed to go. Okay. I have to go back around a bit. Yeah, I, I do I do kind of vaguely remember where you're supposed to go now. So I think it's, yeah, go this way. Go around here, isn't it? And, yeah, something like that. That's a Excuse squeeze me. on the bike. Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Another ghost here. Just one more bop. And yeah. let's get rid of that guy. Maybe, maybe quick save just so we don't get lost. Okay. I think we're on the right track. Uh, Around here? No, though? not that way. I think that. Okay, I think it's I? Uh, turn right. Turn on, right here. Turn I'm on right. Ruben. Ruben. So. Okay, I think uh, I'm on the not. right track. I need to find the road. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's, it, it gets a bit confusing here. Turn left, maybe. Here? That way. Yeah, and then through the door, open door. Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, that's, this is taking you back. Exactly oh, I've lived around. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Hey, zombie. How you doing? Nothing there. Honestly, they're kind of they're kind of decent fellows. Yeah. You can, just kind of on, you can just kind of squeeze on by them, really. Down here. Have I been down here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I I kind of remember vaguely where you are now. Um, because I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to remember compass the quick uh, yeah, the, the speed running like route. That. Yeah, compass is a must on this level. Um, where is it? There it is. Oh, you went past it. it, it yeah. It, there. Oh, there you go. F12, yeah. Uh, F12. Okay, yeah. That's uh... So that's the hole you went down that took yeah. you to where the barracks were. Right. Yeah. Turn left. Here? No, okay. No. no. Can you bring up your map just so I can... Yeah, yeah. See what I'm, I'm a Okay, brewery. so... Yeah, we're in the lower left, so... I think go back the way you were. Okay. Yeah, head that way. That takes you to Reuben Street. So head on to Reuben. So up here. Yeah, head up. And then... So... You'll be on Reuben now, so head forward. Yeah, head north. Where that zombie's going, basically. Oh, head that way, head that way. Oh, this way? Okay. Sorry. Yeah. That way, and then turn left. Uh, yeah, down that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah keep going. Uh, yeah, here you go. Is it? Yeah, keep going. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Through there. Yeah, okay. So here's a little trick. Okay. So first of all, you see that opening at the top? This one? Yeah, that's where okay. you want to be going. All right. Uh, secondly, uh, if you look through the right hand window, you can see two buttons. Yeah. Can I shoot them with right. an arrow? Why don't you give it a shot? Yeah. Let's see if it can hit. Aha! <laughs> oh, that's cool. I love that. I love that. I love that song. That is really Such cool. Nice detail. I... Adventure, game. Adventure game brain, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I, I have said this to, to Connor before, but I, I feel like immersive sims and adventure games have a lot more in common mm. than, than, any, than any other genre, honestly. Because um, really, every, every encounter is just another puzzle yeah. to solve. And you're, just, you, you're using the verbs that the game gives to you to solve each puzzle, each encounter. Yeah, I just love peering out windows. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's the simple things. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have I played uh, have you played Ultimate Underworld? I I have tried playing Ultimate Underworld. I do I do really like Ultimate Underworld. I've honestly been waiting for a really good um, kind of source port of Ultimate Underworld uh, to kind of come out just to make it just a little bit easier to play. Um but I do intend to get around, getting around to it at some point. Um, Ultima, Un Ultima Underworld is one of those kind of like, in, you know, one of those kind of games where it's just, you see where all the DNA comes from 
you know the equivalent to the to like doom and stuff like that uh i've spent more time with system shock one honestly um but need... system, system, shock, system, system shock one's kind of interesting i need to play both of them i mean i've played yeah, i've played it's... system shock 2 a little bit um mm. and it's it's I, i'll probably give it a full play once the enhanced edition's out um Oh, for um, the night System Shock 2. Yeah, the Night Dive, uh, yeah, the one that they were yeah, with all the other and good. stuff. So I'll probably, I'll probably yeah. end up playing it then. Yeah. Ooh, look at this place. Yeah, here you go. It's... It and Arx Vitalis are in some ways the closest to Thief 1 in spirit. Arx Vitalis is fucking amazing. I need to play that And as I will well. not shut up about that game. I love it in all I... of its flawed glory. <laughs> I keep meaning to get around to Arx Vitalis. It's been like sitting in my Steam library for a while. Yeah. It's so good. I I love that game. It's such a shame. I, I I'm 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 really. I, why am I saying it's such a shame? I'm actually really excited because there's going to be an absolutely massive mod coming out called the Arx Insanity mod, and that's going to be so cool because it's going to it's effectively a total and it's going to be bringing back. It's going to be introducing a lot of cut content and expanding cut content as well. Um, but also new locations, new new quests and stuff like that. So gonna, I feel like it's going to really be like... It, it's going to feel like Arx Vitalis Enhanced, honestly. That would be cool. It's, it's really cool. It's really cool. Uh, and it's all possible thanks to the fact that Arcane released the source code for Arx Vitalis. Might want to save here. Yeah, it sounds a little bit uh, dangerous. Also, I love this... <laughs> This texture that's just like an image <laughs> of an object. Oh! That... Oh! 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 He's got a skull face! Okay! <laughs> They're fast! That's just a buzz. Ah! Oh, jeez! I love these enemies. <laughs> You're gonna die here, just in a fire. Not if I swing I, I wildly. I'm genuinely surprised you haven't died. Genuinely. Amazing. I have the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these enemies are genuinely like some of the most unnerving in any game. They still get me. Hold on. Yeah, you can, yeah, Denton says you can use fire arrows or mines. Oh, can I do yeah. that? Uh, or flashbacks. They've already spotted me. Let's see, yeah, they can't path onto the bed. Yeah, Thief AI has a tendency to break as soon as you stand on something a little bit taller than an ankle. Eat it! <laughs> Easy. <laughs> uh, that worked out better than I expected. Um, yeah. Still, I might not wouldn't have said it was good, but um. <laughs> oh, right? that was the right lockpick you were using. Oh. The other one. All right. Yeah. They feel close to Dark Souls and nothing. Actually, yeah, that's a fairly good point. It's the kind of way the way they laugh is. Uh... It's just... I just the just the application of sound yeah. in this game. It's just so fucking Oh my good. god, the sound in Thief. I think this game has the best sound design of any game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> I genuinely yeah. think that. I think it, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's just yeah. incredible. It's so fucking good. Um, so I, and there are so many modern games which just still haven't even come close mm. to it. And like, I know a lot of people were saying... Um, what was it? Holy water. Uh, that... Um, you know, there's a lot of stock sound effects in Thief. Doesn't matter. The way that the game uses sounds is amazing. Also, maybe check behind the bed. You never know. There might be something behind there. Oh, okay. I I always I always check behind things just in case. Don't think so. No? Okay. What does that uh lever do? Le oh, I, I, for some mm. reason I never see them. Oh, okay. Just, just the turns lights. Off the lights. Just in <laughs> case you wanted to sneak through this bit. Oh, that's interesting. I probably could have like turned off the light and then just snuck past the, uh, the, the haunts, right? Yeah. Oh, really it would have been interesting, but you know what? Fire arrows. <laughs> oh, uh, also, yeah, um, Denton. Yeah, there are lines for when for for when you're out of reach of uh, guards. 
Um, Doesn't count as a kill if they're already dead. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. It kind of feels like the the hammerhorns like a solution to like oh we can get let's give them like guards that you can kill. <laughs> oh yeah, like um actually uh, part of the reason why there were more kind of uh, the horror levels were such a big thing in Thief One. I think it largely comes down to Warren Spector who wanted there to be more action elements okay. in the game, uh, and everyone else was kind of like no, we're doing stealth stuff. Hang <laughs> on, how about we have levels where you can just go fucking ham. Um, I might have my I might have my history wrong on that, but um, I know I know Warren Spector was a big proponent on having more options being present in uh, Thief that are lean a bit more into the actiony stuff. None of these work. Are you able to open it normally? Oh, <laughs> that's why nothing nothing was working because it wasn't even locked. Great. Yeah, I think I think the reason why the compromise works so well is that. You don't want to be caught by these enemies anyway, because they're still fucking lethal. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're so lethal and so freaky um, that you don't want to get caught by them. Ooh. Uh, that might do the lights oh, as well. Now, there, now the Serpentile Talk is in this mansion somewhere. It's in this nice. house somewhere. Uh, maybe check your objectives just to make sure you haven't picked it up by accident. No, I already oh, have yeah. it. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't even I didn't even yeah. register. I, I I thought it was yeah. just loot. Yeah, honestly, um, this is this is one of the things about Thief One that I honestly completely forgot was that it doesn't have an objective complete sound effect. Yeah, it only it only, pl it only triggers the objective com the objective sound when you get a new objective, um, which honestly kind of surprised me because um, Thief Two I'm so used to how Thief Two does it. We need. Another 500 loot. 500. Oh, 450. 450, okay. That seems doable. Yeah, that seems doable. You're just going to need to explore a few more areas, basically. Yeah. <sighs> if we get stuck here for too long, there's always control at shift end. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've basically finished uh, it. I'm just looking for loot now. Yeah. The next level is uh, quite interesting. I feel like it's probably one of the more divisive levels <laughs> in Thief 1. I personally okay. love the next level. Um, there's something about uh, Thief's more kind of Tomb Raider-y levels that mm -hmm. I really love. The more oh, yeah. adventure exploration stuff. I kind of love those. Loot goal is why nobody should play this mission for the first time in Expert. <laughs> eh, true. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> this level can get a little bit topsy-turvy and get you confused. Yeah, that's true. There is actually a chest that you've walked past um, in one of the houses. Yeah. To the point of having a Tomb Raider reference. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Garrett has a... Did you, did you open the door? Oh, yeah, on, they would have on. opened the door. Um, Are you going to... Your mind? Uh, yeah, mind? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Ah, that felt very satisfying. <laughs> so, in one of the in one of the houses on your right, I believe it's the second one. There's gonna be there's gonna be a chest with some loot. Okay. This one? Uh, no. no. Oh, actually, no, I think that one. Yeah, you might have to you might have to unlock that one. Hold on, let me just. Uh... The thing I love about the exploding zombies is that if you're not too careful, they'll explode so violently that one of the body parts will go flying at you and kill you. you know what I'm I, have had that I have had that happen to me once, where a zombie also flew into me and instantly killed me with max health. <laughs> Look at that spider die in the street. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Maddie, you want to lay some uh, platypus facts on us? Go for it. Oh my god, platypus facts? Let's fucking go. She told me a really horrifying <laughs> one earlier today. Platy facts. Hmm. Spider fought the zombies in the last... Yeah, that's, that seems about right. <laughs> the zombies are just absurdly overpowered. They just never die. Two sex chromosomes. Well, well, well. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, the, the one that, oh, that uh, Maddie told me was something with the venom that they have in their... Oh, what, on the, in the armpits? Or is it the tongue? They're heel spurs. Heel spurs, They have yeah, spurs yeah. Uh, that have venom in them. And apparently they, they have venom so unique that morphine can't even dull the pain. Jesus Christ. But oh, they look so cute! <laughs> So what you're saying is that they're a cowboy. <laughs> oh, maybe there's that, a bit of loot up there. Jingle, jangle, jingle. Uh, uh, platypus, platypus, New Vegas. <laughs> just, can you just stop it. You're a jerk. You're a real jerk. You know uh, that. <laughs> Oh, and now you. Oh my God. Hang on, you, you got flash bombs, right? I, I think so. Yeah, flash bombs can be used to uh, damage undead. You've got nine, so there you go. You can kill him uh, if you drop another. Okay. Oh. Oh. Um, uh, one more, maybe. Oh yeah, that does it. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, you, god. You stood so close there, it might have actually it could have killed you there. <laughs> I just remember like drop <laughs> <laughs> like dropping a bowling ball on him, like a cartoon character. <laughs> <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, so that does all the lights. So is there a bit of loot uh, up on that little bit there? I don't know. I don't think so. Is there anything in here? Uh, I, I think it might have just... Oh, wait, no, no, hang on, hang on. There were some, like, ropeable bits above you. Oh, uh, yes, there is. I don't know if that... I don't actually know if that goes anywhere, but... Uh, oh, I guess we can find out. Five unique proteins have been found in platypus venom, and even if you get a small nick on, like, your hand, you feel the pain throughout your whole body. The effects of platypus venom can also last on and off for months. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Uh, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes that raw power, I guess. Oh well, you've got like bajillions yeah. of them. <laughs> okay. So I think it's actually in the next house where they're, where chest is. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Okay, you've gone too. Wait. Actually, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, check both these houses. Okay. Chops. Um. Is it this one? No, I think you. I think you have gone too far, but there is loot in here. These are mine. I haven't. I clearly mine. haven't been in here. At least I haven't explored it fully. No, I don't think you've been in here. So. I think I've been here though. <laughs> uh, nope. Have not. You have not. Oh wait, no, no, no. You have. Yeah, yeah. This is where you jumped uh, down. Uh, Denton says always check fireplaces. Oh yeah, of course. You never know what you'll find. I went oh, to the passage. Nice. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, yes. Uh, that's the chest I was talking about, actually. Yeah, you did go past it. <laughs> okay, so now we need 350. Yeah, so there's another chest back on the street that you were just on, on the left-hand side. Okay. Hopefully it contains 350. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a high... Oh, that's the wrong way. Quite a high uh, loot goal, actually. Yeah, I, I feel like... I, I'm obviously... Yeah, I obviously love playing these... Oh, uh, opposite house. Left of you. Yeah, just in there. Oh. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I, I love playing Thief on Expert because I just love being able to go around and exploring all yeah. these um, Maybe Expert for a lot of people is a bit too high. I, I think, it, but, I think um, it's given me a sufficient challenge. In a, in yeah. a good way. I, I, yeah, I, I think the thing I love is just the fact that the, the objectives, they, they force you to explore the level fully. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know if I know normal definitely doesn't do that. I don't know if hard does that in comparison. Oh, that's where the fire guy was, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Notice how all the lights are on now because you activated the switch box. Oh, bit of loot. So you're okay. on seven six five. Seventeen sixty five. Okay, so I need what? <laughs> two hundred and thirty five loot. Yeah, two hundred thirty five. Right. Um, doesn't appear to doesn't appear to be many zombies around now. So I think I've blown most of them to... up, and I have another mine if there are more of them. Yeah, I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> I 
Now, something I've, I'm wondering, uh, that is another thing. That one I don't think opens. Okay. So I don't worry about that. Oh, I hear one. Ah, oh, hello. La the last zombie. Is he the last one? <laughs> it might as well be. Okay. I think you've got like fire fire arrows and flash bombs and stuff. You can easily take this one out. And you've also got you've also got holy water as well. Holy water. I would say holy... I would save I would save the mine just in case. Okay. How do I, how do you use holy water? So you right click holy water. And then what that does is it turns your water arrows oh. into holy water arrows yeah, for 30 seconds. Uh... And it should take just two or three. Oh. There you go. <laughs> two it is. <laughs> Just the, the single, the single frame T pose, yeah. <laughs> followed by exploding. The violent explosion is so funny. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, it's so much. I, I'm genuinely hoping at some point you do just get splattered uh, <laughs> by a zombie giblet and it just kills you. I, I, I can imagine that happening in like a D and D session or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy water arrows have AOE effect. Mm. Oh, that kind of makes sense. Um, honestly, I never used holy water arrows enough for me to actually know that. Where um, else can I loot? I think maybe there's no. I, I think perhaps there's no more loot in this direction. Yeah, back towards the cathedral. I don't think you're going to find more loot. Yeah, so true. I'm trying to think where else haven't you checked? Um. Because you've done Market Street. Mm -hmm. I think maybe head head on down to... Oh, I know. Uh, Reuben. Fallen Tower? Street. Fallen Tower. This one? In oh, where the, where the dead Burrick is? Uh, maybe the Burrick fell on some loot. I just did. I, I don't think I did check it before. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Ah, there you go. okay. Nice it, shout it, out. It, the Burrick was hiding some loot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know one more place where you can go check okay. as well, uh, where you haven't been. In fact, I might actually be where some of the last zombies are. So you want to head back on to, to the main street. Right, I need to remember how to get there. Um, that way. This way? Oh, go, yeah. go around. Yeah, just head around. No, it's just a shallow pool. Um, so, yeah, go that way. And then turn right down the main street. It's coming back to me a bit now. <laughs> Clonk. And then left. Clonk. Turn right. And across there. And then this will take you back to the drawbridge. And then you want to uh -huh. go across the bridge. Okay. Across oh, you've bridge. already checked there. Oh, yeah, you've across, checked there. Across the bridge, yeah. Yeah. And then... Okay, I'm going to see if I can remember this bit. Oh, have you checked in there? Yes, I think you did, didn't you? Yeah, because there's cups. That's just a plate yeah, that you can throw around. Just there. Yeah, I think I have checked here. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, and then turn right, yeah, down that way. Go, yeah, go that way. Here? Yep, that way. Okay. Uh, I think there's a. You got the bit of loot above you there, didn't you? There's oh, loot high up in that cups building, says V Fig. Uh, potentially. Uh, in, in, in... So you remember the building that you were just in, where you where you picked up those cups? Oh. Yeah, maybe maybe there's a bit that you can like rope arrow out. Yeah, no, uh, I, maybe not. I... Uh, what, what's in that? What's in that little cubby? What's in that little cubby? This uh, in the dark there. Yeah, there's not like a ladder or something like that. No, okay. Uh, mm, okay. What's the building behind you? Yeah, what's that building? Are you able to get into it? I don't know. Like if, you climb, if you climb up it. Maybe, oh, maybe you can jump up to the... Uh, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. No, you're out of bounds. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> no worries. Okay, technically there is no out of bounds in Thief. Technically you're always in bounds. Okay. It's kind of impossible. I to have get started uh, parkouring. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> we're, we're, we're reaching yeah, the jump, uh, jump on down. Yeah. Head, pole heads, uh, and stuff. that way. Our skybox things. I think that would, that would be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> head. Yeah. Head. Um. To the right. Okay. That way. Yeah. And then I 
think uh, there's a bit where you kind of go up the hill. Oh, yeah, it's super up there as well. I think I've checked here, but... Oh, maybe just double check. Yeah. Never know. <laughs> Unless this is where the crayfish was. Oh, what's up there? I'm, nice bomb. I think I'm, I think... There's, a, there's, a, there's a ladder on your right, by the way. I mean, that's climb down ladder, though. It might help you to climb up there. Oh, you could just use a rope arrow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. <laughs> Getting out of bounds in Thief 3 is kind of part of the course, to be honest. Thief 3 is kind of very... It, it's surprisingly buggy. Um, I mean, it's the same engine as Deus Ex 2, isn't it? Uh, yes, uh, yeah. modified Unreal Engine 2. Okay. Ah, I shot off there. Oh, careful, careful. Oh, you could probably drop down there, to be honest. Uh, there might be some building. Loot. Oh, yeah, jump over to there. That might be a good okay. idea. Yeah, Deus Ex Invisible War. Oh. Which... Uh, Deus, Ex, Deus Ex Invisible War is the second one, by the way, Klon. Um, I'm actually... A, <laughs> I'm surprisingly a big defender oh. of Invisible War. Um, I think it's much better than people give it give it credit, honestly. Uh, just trying to get this joke might right. be an easier way in there, to be honest, but you never know. Oh. Probably... Really? Denton says, J hop down onto the <laughs> lamp and... I try. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh yeah, because, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of annoying. Basically what happens is whenever it loads, uh, it, like, refreshes the window or something like that. Does it? It's super annoying. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I, can... I, I, I think, um... Oh, yeah, there you go. Maybe you can get into that. Oh, hello. Oh. Uh, Actually, maybe this is the maybe this is the readable which is going to tell you about the talk. Constable Tool is a degenerate. Every time we have a blackout, I have to go haul his ass out of the pub to get him to unlock the maintenance cell for the Market Street power grid. If he wasn't the Baron's nephew, they would have been fired months ago. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> just a uh, just a bit of flavor text. There. Oh, there might be some loot here. in here. Oh, maybe up top. Maybe up top. Up top. Uh, yeah, I can just see a little window bit. Uh, yeah, Vfig, that, that's actually what I was thinking, yeah. Basically, the, the menus uh, in Deus Ex Invisible War and Thief 2, uh, Thief 3, sorry, are <laughs> almost basically a separate program entirely, which is why it ends up refreshing every time you, you go into a loading screen. Okay. So up top, maybe? Like where where you can climb, yeah. Like you see those beams, maybe you can climb onto those. Okay. Uh, check the uh, yeah. Check the other room because uh, there may be some wood or something that you can climb onto. Or the lamp. Actually, that's a pretty fair shout. Okay. Oh, maybe I could climb the ladder up there. I'll, I'll try the lamp though. The lamp doesn't seem to want to work. Yeah, ladder. The lamp might not be the best bet. Oh, the ladder <laughs> might help actually. That seems to go. Pretty oh yeah. Funny. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. I can't. I can't tell if you're like stuck in climbing mode or not. I don't know. Oh, maybe there's nothing in the, up there. Uh, yeah. I feel like it would have been a bit more obvious if you could climb up there. To be honest. I know you. I know you're near a bunch of uh, loot, uh, at least. So. Oh come on. We're close. We're close. We <laughs> <Stay> have <up. laughs> the ladder. <laughs> okay. All right. Jump on down. Um. And then turn that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. There's a doorway on your right. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, wait. No, you were already in this You were already in this building. So head on out through that hole. It's caught on the ladder again. Yeah. I see one more and fact then... that ladders in 90s games are just coated in glue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stick they're, right to they're a bit funky. Oh. So turn... Yeah, I guess this... No, actually, where that zombie just came from. Hold on. Oh, you're gonna kill him. No, no. Uh, what do I go for? You know what? Mine. <laughs> you wanna blow him up? Oh, maybe I didn't need him oh. to properly. No, not close enough, not close enough. I thought he would, uh... uh oh, that's not good. RS Ray says they've just installed a new Ryzen 9 oh, 
Fucking hell, that's a good CPU. Got him. They have also redeemed Caco Cam. Caco Cam? All right, that's right. Here's your Caco Cam. <laughs> so my my dog uh, uh, just came uh, like walked in the room. I think he might need to go out. Uh, I will be back in a moment, uh, but I won't be too long. I don't think. So just give me a moment. I'll have to let the dog out. I think he needs it. We got people talking about platypuses and echidnas now. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> For a bit, yeah. They're both kind of weird animals. Echidnas are like... What? Fake hedgehogs? <laughs> Hang on, let me remind myself what an echidna looks like. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're kind of like... Knock off... They're like hedgehogs met, meet... Anteaters. Those long fucking snouts. <laughs> Which made them look very cute. Great, yeah. <laughs> Pangolins again. Oh, pangolins, those guys. Oh, they're cute. And they're little rolly <sighs> boys. Get my earbuds back in. Yeah, apologies about that. My uh, my dog's a bit older, so I need to remember to let him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll still have an accident. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a big dog and he's like 12 now, so oh, gosh. getting on in years. But still incredibly cute, I'm sure. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> so, uh, I think it's back the other way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back that way. Where the zombie came from, basically. Yeah, down where that street lamp is. Okay. Like around here? Uh, yeah, I think. Turn around. Wait, no, no, this isn't the way. Hang on. Oh, no. Uh, go, yeah, go back through there. <laughs> I'll try and see if I can remember. Uh, maybe back through the hole? Yeah. 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 And, and, turn, and turn right. And then go straight ahead. That way. Uh-huh. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, okay, go down, go down. <laughs> go down, because we, we've literally gone in a circle. Uh, um, okay, turn. Go left. Okay. You think you're lost now? Wait till you get to the Lost City. Here's the thing. A lost City, I remember a bit more about. Weirdly enough. So I feel like we'll be fine. Fair enough. Somewhat. Somewhat. Is it the next one, or...? Yeah, the Lost City is the okay. next level. Uh... Okay, turn back around, and then go left. Hey, I recognize all these areas, but I just I need, I need. Yeah, to... there's there's this there's this one bit that kind of goes up a hill. I need how much? Um, it's not much at this point. Yeah, I need I need uh 135. 135. God, yeah. Give me a gem and, and a goblet or something. That'll cover me. <laughs> Goodness. Um. Okay, so you're heading back to the starting point now. Is there anything here um, that I missed? They're very. They're, they're, there's a big possibility that you might have. Maybe turn around and go left. Yeah. You said this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. You. You'll have definitely missed a bit of loot around here. Um. Like, look up top. Look up top, basically. Oh. Uh. The beams. Yeah. Sometimes it's hidden on the beams. Maybe not here, but I know there's some loot you'll have missed here. Bit of rubble. Nice bit of rubble. Nice bit of rubble there. <laughs> Maybe up top there. No. Okay. 
I love the ambience of this area. Yeah. Oh, this looks different. I don't think I've been here. Oh, I think this is the. I think this is where you just were, but from oh, like a different mind. angle. <laughs> okay. Like angle, yeah. Uh. Yeah. You get so turned around on this one. Oh, but go up, go up the ramp. Actually, maybe we're I, that's where maybe I... we're closer to where I was thinking. Left that way? Yeah, no, no, up that way, up that way. Oh hi. Yes. Yeah, th this is where I was thinking. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So I, I think this is I think this is where you'll find the last bit of loot that you need. Yeah, because there's a there's a house that you can enter. Oh, yeah, I haven't been here. Yeah. Move forward a bit so that you're out of the, the light. Good plan. Also, Maddie, it is totally fine. <laughs> Hijacking the chat with monetary facts. Oh, wow. <laughs> he can't see me. I don't think. Oh. V fixes, so. Just in case. <laughs> Come on, open the door! <laughs> <laughs> this is aggressively trying to lockpick this door with a zombie shambling behind me. Uh, rope arrows, rope arrow. mine. mine. Not really what I'm looking for. Maybe there's some loot behind the bed, just in case. Oh, for oh, goodness he's, sake, man. He's coming in. All right. I maybe check the other side of the bed yet. Can't get me here, though. He's doing a little wiggle. Maybe crouch, just to see if you've had a... Um... Just in case everything's out of fog range. Uh, I don't, I'm looking at my OBS. It does no. not appear to be showing me anything. Dude, no. oh, what's that in the corner? Could you Top not be there? standing there. It's such a pain. There's a mine on the floor here. Can't be oh, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. There's a mine. Yeah. There's a mine literally on the floor right I, in front of you. I, whoa. The hell? I can't interact with it. How did you not set it off? You're right next to it. Ah! Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Oh my lord. That is... That is silly. That's cheeky. That's cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm surprised the zombie doesn't set it off though. Hold on. Oh. Come here. <laughs> Come over here, stinky. You see me? Come on. <laughs> it's just standing there. I don't oh. want to get blown up. Oh, see if you can get him to set off the mine. Oh, like... <sighs> Never mind. No, what the hell? Is this shenanigans? It's so mean. <laughs> this mine sucks. This mine sucks. <laughs> Alright, I'll just blow up the same way I did before. Ow, that was. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that was my bad. Oh god. Oh, uh -oh. You know what? I'm gonna reload uh -oh. the save. <laughs> Hold on. Oh wait, fire at the mine. Fire at the mine when he goes past it. Ah, oh, good idea. See if that sets it off. Maybe step back a bit, just in case. Okay, set it off. Okay, well it blew up the mine. <laughs> Got him. There you go. Got him. Uh, well, this wasn't a useful room, but... No, I thought there was going to be some loot in here, but okay. There is definitely some loot uh, in one of the other houses that's in this area. Okay. And hopefully that should be enough right, to push us sit. over. God, please. Alright, there's a house here. I think this might be the one. I do like the lockpicking in this a lot. It's simple, but it works. Um, the the thing I really love about it is that it kind of create it kind of ooh. <laughs> this... It gives you. That... Sorry, you continue. 
<laughs> it gives you that feeling of kind of like you're desperately rushing to kind yes. of unlock something and then like crawl inside, you know? It's deliberately fiddly. Yeah. I I don't like the way that it's been turned into a mini game in a lot of um stealth games. Yeah. The, the Skyrim I, I think, approach. Yeah, I think the way that Thief does it is is perfect. Oh, I really hope this pushes you over the edge. With uh, loot, that is. Oh, yeah. Wait, is it locked? Oh, maybe just open it. Thief 3 lock picking wasn't Re bad. A breath potion. Really? Fucking... Okay, check your objectives, just in case. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Um, I could have sworn there was going to be loot in there. <laughs> Give me loot! Oh. Okay. You know, I think I think you get a bit of loot if you do control shift end. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've, I've explored everything. I, I, yeah. My... You've, yeah. There's. There's. I, and. I'm close enough. I mean, look at yeah. look at how much I have. That's like, that's like negligible. It's good enough. Yeah. It's good. Enough. All right. Uh, control... And you'll keep that. You will keep all the loot that you got uh, this far. Anyway, Whoa! So... I got all the loot, everybody. Oh, we got all the loot, guys. Wow. <laughs> Ignore that. Um... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good scene. The keepers. Yeah, indeedy. From unknown origins, they came. Even the Trekkens. They live isolated beyond the cities. The extent of their arcane power is unknown. We must be very cautious of dealing with them. Close observation must continue. Keeper Xavier. The talisman of Earth is guarded by a foreign mages sect known as the Hand Brotherhood. They reside in a compound of huge towers where they practice their oh, arts the of Earth, Air, first. Fire, oh. and Water. The oh, talisman gosh. is likely kept in the Earth Tower, but there's little chance it'll be that simple. No doubt the talisman is heavily guarded and probably protected by magic. But mages love to write everything down. I should stumble on something useful about their precious trinket. I bribed some servants to get me a map of the common grounds, best I could do since only the mages are allowed in the towers. I'll enter the courtyard just outside the central <laughs> keep entrance. Once inside, <laughs> I I'll need to move quickly to find the talisman. I wouldn't last long in a fight against Gar the mages. Gar <laughs> So, mages, huh? Yeah, so this is the Mage Towers, a level that was added in Thief Gold. Uh -huh. um, it's a fairly divisive level. I personally like it. Okay. The first time round. On a play, on a replay, it's a bit linear. Okay. So, But it's, it's okay. Can you actually compare the difference between Hard and Expert? Sure. I want to see if there's any... Because um... if, the, if you get the other objectives... But uh, if you get the extra objectives, but um, with with a lesser loot goal, that might be a bit better. Okay. So, so the loot goal on, is eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Whereas so... whereas hard is just eight hundred. Eight hundred. Okay. So hang on. So find the talisman. Steal the earth. yeah. So find where they've got it. Steal the earth talisman. Discover what the mages have tucked away. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred loot. And then what does expert add? Um. Uh, I mean, I always play on expert anyway. Oh, uh, okay. It adds an objective. Rahelio, the captain of the guard, has been leading a crusade to retrieve the talismans. One of your contacts says that he's returned with a valuable amulet. Steal the medallion of Saint Beringdon from the captain. Okay. Denton recommends expert for this one. So okay. I feel like lost. I feel like a haunted cathedral is uh, annoying mm -hmm. on expert. I'm, I'm fine with expert on this. So um, yeah, probably do expert on this one. Okay, what should we uh, go for then? Yeah. So we're back to human enemies on this yes. one. Yes. So obviously, no killing. Mm -hmm. uh, water arrows are going to be a must. I'd also get two rope arrows. Um, so, okay, I'll get the rope arrows first. Get two of these. Uh, water arrows, how many do you reckon? 
Uh, actually, first, get two flash bombs. Okay. Yeah. And then... Healing potions? Yeah, maybe just pick up a, a one more healing potion. One more healing potion. Uh, and then maybe the rest in water arrows. Oh, moss. Moss arrows, actually. Get a couple moss arrows. That's okay. even more. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be... You, you're going to be fairly open with blackjacking people in this level, right. I would say. Okay, so um, rest, rest in water. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, yeah, Thief, thief Gold doesn't... So in, in the original Thief, they basically have it so that you, you only have two levels. You pick up two talismans per level. So what they did for Thief Gold is they added another two levels, basically making it so that each talisman has a level on its own. Uh, ah. Which I think, in terms of pay, which it it stretches the game out a lot more, but I think it works better. Um, and also, yeah, Vfig is absolutely right. Yeah, the 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 extra levels are decent, uh, but you can tell that they were rushed for time. The, yeah, even the rush work. I, I I noticed that as well. Like, um, yeah. I think something a thing that I said is that is in particular when you know when you either like don't have the time to like like do stairs you make a ramp instead <laughs> I, was yeah. like, I was like in mapping it's like when you're trying to like save time that's what you do and i noticed that there's a lot of ramps in these level in these thief court levels <laughs> yeah it's a real shame because um i i think there are some really interesting things some really interesting ideas that we're toying with the thieves guild is a really interesting concept the mage towers expands the um the universe a bit mm -hmm. and i think it, i think conceptually it's a really interesting level as well and then the third level which is added uh, song of the caverns i think is gameplay wise the best one um conceptually it's pretty cool it's pretty cohesive with thief um it just runs into the issue of feeling kind of a little unfinished um which is honestly kind of a big problem with the levels added with thief gold they just kind of feel a little underbaked. Still good, but not nearly as good as the other levels. And the Lost City was changed a bit to tie into the Mage's Expedition. Yes, yeah, you're right. And personally, I dislike that change. Uh, that's one of the few changes I dislike about Thief Gold. Um, because for some reason they make the Lost City not so lost. Oh Christ. The body pile begins. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom just real quick. So I'll leave you. I'll leave you to your pile. They just keep coming this way. <laughs> Body pile. Everyone's <laughs> coming in to join the game of blackjack. Exactly. Oh god, it, it is becoming a pile. Well, uh, they're, just, they're gonna like just wake up like that and be like, "What kind of night did we have?" reminds me of those like uh it's like human revolution videos uh, where people would like take like everyone in an area and just drag them all into a vent it's just like a pile of ragdolls in a vent oh these video games are fun I love the appearing our own corners as well. It's just like a cool feature for a stealth game. It's locked. Can I lock pick it? Come on. I don't see anything now. 
Yeah, yeah, you can even dance to those too. I, I, I remember that. It's really cool. Okay, hold on. Let me just. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna save here. And then if I. Are you Taffin, son? Oh, I thought that was one of the cards. <laughs> 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 Scare me. <laughs> what I see there. Seems peaceful a enough now. Document on the pa on the <laughs> table, I believe. Yes, I'm just gonna get rid of this guy uh, first. Oh, perfect. Don't think any game had uh, oh. <clears throat> since Thief had that till Gloomwood. Um, I guess the dark mod kind of counts as well. But yeah, Gloom Gloomwood is actually bringing back the um, the eavesdropping through doors yes. thing. Where I, I love that. Oh, crap. Such, a, such a such a neat detail that actually has a lot of purpose. <laughs> it yeah. actually helps. I don't think I need all these things, I, I, but... Uh, I love the mages. They all they all sound super goofy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. and was that, was that, these are the mages, these ones. Yeah, those guys are the mages. I wasn't yeah. sure if they were like uh, peasants or something. <laughs> Not peasants. C random citizens, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, just, ra just random dudes. <laughs> you know what I mean. Out, so. Yeah, just like the, the, the servants who you can knock out from any angle. Yeah. Um, okay. So like, we, uh, so like we once were, are these who now inhabit this land? They are the chrysalis that shall become. We have adopted those few who, who have shown potential for enlightenment. From the notes of Archmage Garrod's prophecies. Okay. Oh. Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you are after some more thiefy goodness, anyone in the oh, chat, I do, I do highly recommend checking out the Dark Mod. It is a free standalone game. Uh, community game, made game, um, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty good. It's free, standalone. Um, it's no longer a mod, and there's some pretty cool stuff going on in that in that community. Um, it's the the way a lot of people describe it is it's it's the thief four we should have had. Well, I kind of agree with that. I think it adds it adds a, a few gameplay stuff uh, to the AI, for instance, that makes them a bit. Makes them a much harder challenge in some ways, but yeah. Yes, Not sure how often it ever gets missions. Um, it get, it gets mission updates like fairly recently. Maybe not as fast as Thief One and Two. Thief One and I, I think mostly because of how um, because it's on a different engine, it they, it kind of adds to the complexity of each scene. Um, These mages more are not complexity. ones to be safe. Got an intruder. You just. He was having a conversation with someone. Was he? <laughs> yeah. Oh. How has he not opened the door? Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Come back. Oh crap. Yeah. What? No. It tech war is very nice to map for though. That is true. Yeah. I I still don't haven't gotten the hang of Dark Radiant you. too much. But Watch it is very. Easy, but I did find it very easy. I saw on someone hand. earlier. And, and the one thing I really like about Dark Radiant as well, um, in the Dark Mod community... Uh oh! That... You should have been able to knock him out. That's weird. Oh, God. That's annoying. Yeah, you're gonna die here. Yeah. The one, the one thing that I really love about the, dark, uh, about the Dark Mod community as well, with Dark Radiant specifically, is what they've done is they've basically created a uh, kit bash. These stuff. mages are not ones So you can very easily with. put levels together. So I'm use their magic on old Bradward. The mages caught him stealing lupins from the tables of the meeting hall. One of them summoned great hurtling balls from the sky, glowing rocks from the moon they was, and they mashed in his <laughs> poor skull. Any intruders better hope we get to him first before the hand mages do. <clears throat> well then. Great <clears throat> balls, flushed emoji. Someone there? Nothing now. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, worked somehow. 
Yeah, you got him. All right, join the cuddle pile. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, uh, to anyone who hasn't played the dark mode, I do highly recommend it. Uh, it doesn't quite have this. It doesn't quite get the same vibe as Thief One and Two, down. But I, I still consider it very good. Um, it really scratches that itch, and there are some fantastic levels for the dark mod, which, honestly, in a, in a way, are kind of sad because it it genuinely feels like what Thief Four should be in a lot of ways. And uh, that's another that's another example of uh, a level editing scene that I need to get back to and actually finish a project for. Pedal pile. Um, dark Radiant is a very n very nice editor. Uh, to use. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just having fun adding boys to this cuddle pile. <laughs> you know, that's how it, that's how it be. That's how it be sometimes. Okay. It's honestly kind of nice that you get to have a little break from the the monster levels, you know, and you get to just <laughs> get to just knock people out yeah. willy nilly. It's good fun. like this situation. Careful, he might see you. Yeah, most likely. I know there's not a lot of dark places here. Is he going down? Yeah, he's going down. <laughs> Careful. Who's there? Nobody. Is someone there? Nobody. Oh, Hello? go away. Nobody. <laughs> there? Nobody. I guess not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is someone over there? Nope. One day we'll have more thief stuff if Gloomwood brings interest to the formula. I really hope so. I I, on, I I do think that out of the three immersive sim games, Deus Ex, System Shock, and Thief, I think I think Thief is by and far, by and large, my favourite. I think there's something there's something about the level design and, and environment design and just how all the different systems come together that I think. I think Thief does better than Deus Ex and even System Shock, honestly. Um, and hopefully Gloomwood as modding. That would be cool. Oh, there he is. Hey. <clears throat> <laughs> nice. Just did a little drop on him. New Blood have been pretty good with uh, kind of supporting modding. I understand that there are different challenges involved because um, because it's Unity. Mm. Um, yeah. So they'll they'll have to figure something out there. But they did a pretty good job with Dusk, honestly. Mm. Um, and that's, that's, that just keeps going with like mod support as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, and the modding, the the mapping support on there is great because um it supports trench broom and trench broom is a superb editing tool yeah and, and you can take you can put in like like just almost any uh bsp on like the half-life one yeah just the standard bsp it's 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 such a cool <laughs> it's such a cool tool because something i tried out is um there's a map for half-life one deathmatch which is based on monkey island it's like it's the melee island um that's all made oh, in 3D. Yeah. And I tested it in, in Dusk, and it just about worked. The skybox wasn't quite there. Uh, yeah, skybox was the one thing, yeah. Um, but I, it did work. I, I was running through, you know, the melee streets in Dusk. It was really cool. <laughs> uh, anyway. Celera Abruca. We urgently need the chemicals last requested two days. Oh, sorry. That's, not, that's a new sentence. Two days hence, we'll, uh, we'll be sending... Uh, young Luca to the city. Have one of your helpers accompany him. Also, see if you can add three goats, a camel, and a burrick to the animals gathered for the next round of experiments. Adept Hazeki Bazar. Interesting. <laughs> you know, just casually pick up a camel. Camels confirmed for thief cannon. <laughs> Uh, notice, really about that. <laughs> notice to all servants and guards herein let it be known that the four towers of the mage keep are sacrosanct and thus off limits to the commons only those adept may enter guards may enter the tower of foyers on business but may not proceed upwards archmage ibn al harud hmm. yeah 
yeah, I've got people talking about Unity and modding now. Yeah, I think it's a real shame that engines have become sort of very hostile towards modding. I, I think it's a damn shame because modding... Modding not only keeps games alive, but it's such, an it's such a good entryway into game design. Oh, that's a civilian. Bop him. Kill him. Oh, wait, he went left. Someone there. Awesome. Uh -huh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> just went in and just decked this guy in the face. All right, let's just pop you around the corner. I, isn't that guy... Hang on. Well, that voice actor, the guy who voiced him, that's either someone who sounds like Stephen Russell or it is Stephen Russell. Oh, gosh, hold on. Unity is a funny little engine. Um, I don't know if necessarily if it, I, I kind of feel like there's a love-hate relationship with Unity. An Unreal Engine as well. I, I think one of the few engines that I genuinely kind of love, even if it has its some serious shortcomings, uh, is Godot. Um, because Godot is open source and kind of, it's kind of built for modding as well. Um, I really hope that engine does does well. Oh well, so yeah, Stephen Russell did did one of the servant voices. Yeah, he's done a he, he did a, he did a bunch of voices. Mm. Uh, in fact, in Thief Two, uh, yeah, Stephen Russell voices the main antagonist of Thief Two, and you would not <laughs> recognize him. <laughs> he's such a versatile voice actor. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. I'm actually super sad that they never ended up because originally Booker DeWitt in. Um, uh, Booker DeWitt in Bioshock Infinite was originally going to be voiced by Stephen Russell. Mm -hmm. It makes sense that they didn't choose Stephen Russell in the end because of how different Bioshock Infinite was at launch. But um, yes, I kind of missed that. Also, yeah, Kellerson in the chat is absolutely right. Godot is free. It's open source. It's brilliant, and it's <laughs> it's like five megabytes in size. <laughs> Pretty cool. Actually, another cool thing about Godot is that you can actually access the entire engine in a HTML5 web browser. So if you fancy being crazy and doing oh. some development in a web browser, you can do that. <laughs> uh. Oh, there you go. I saw him in panic lately, but I realized he was turned away from me, so I thought, screw yeah. it. Bop him. I feel like I feel like Unreal Engine definitely has the upper hand against Unity. I think the problem with Unreal Engine is that it's still, and I think maybe they're getting rid of it with Unreal Engine oh, Five, is that um, I think Unreal Engine, I think I think the big problem with Unreal Engine at the moment is the fact that you kind of boot up a project and it's kind of got that Unreal Engine look to it, you know? Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I I think they're getting rid of that in Unreal Engine Five. I've I've seen yeah. uh, UE five in action and it looks really cool. Yeah, I I think on a I think on a graphical level I think it's UE five has some. It's got some pretty amazing stuff going on. Shit. Oh, oh. careful here. The Unreal Motion blur. <laughs> the post processing um, effects. God, I I I I think that's one of the big things. That happened in kind of like the the Xbox 360 generation. Every every game used Unreal Engine 3, and therefore every game used the same fucking post processing effects. <laughs> and it looked awful. Ah! Was that supposed to hurt? Oh, oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, ah that was Bowman. Surprised he was alerted by that. Oh yeah, he should have flashed bomb, that's true. I'm in the dark here, so I can open this door. Nearly every game had bad hair. <laughs> yeah, true. Everyone's seen Civvy's Thief series? I have indeed. You have keen ears! Uh, yeah, why is that guy that guy is basically alert? What the hell? You're dead, pal! Maybe. Yes. I turned the cuddle pile. <laughs> All right, maybe I should go for him first. Uh, Thief One does not use uh, Unreal Engine. Uh, Thief, Thief Two, and System Shock Two all use a custom engine called the Dark Engine, 
which is honestly a very strange engine. Uh, but I kind of love it all the same. Uh, Thief 3, Thief Deadly Shadows, and uh, Deus Ex Invisible War use a modified version of Unreal Engine 2. So there is... So Thief 3 technically it runs on Unreal Engine. Oh, God. So I might have got that mixed up. Open the goddamn door! Yeah, Deus Ex uses Unreal Engine 1. Yeah, you're right there. <laughs> also, yeah, this ghosting, this section of the level is fucking thrilling. I, I love it. Careful, that's tile. Oh, bloody hell. Careful now. <laughs> oh no, Invisible War. I, honestly, I, I really like Invisible War. I'm one of the few people who might actually defend Invisible War. Oh, no. I can use moss arrows. I, I, I don't think I need to. I can just... Nah, I would say save them on this one. Strange noise. Damn it. Shit. <laughs> Wait. No. Oh, flash bomb. Oh, oh no. I, I, he's got you. He's, yeah. Uh, That's I'm, a right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I just love the way they go. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am here at least. Yeah, I think aim for his like feet and aim up a little bit. <laughs> might be okay, you might just hit his hitbox instead of like his body. Yeah, like stand up, stand up when doing as well. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There we go. There you go. Just oh. be careful of walking around because um, they can hear you through the doors if good you're not point, careful. Good point, good point. Um, yeah. Oh, Banshee, I um, Maddie, uh, I hope you're using Blender. <laughs> Or 3ds Max or Maya, whichever. I I personally just love Blender. Um, can I get enough of it? Seems quiet enough now. Oh well. Yeah, I I bought a couple of courses oh, on Blender, noise. but my ADHD Seems makes peaceful. it really hard <laughs> to focus on shit. I heard yeah. the clock. No! Oh, no! Oh, damn. Oh, wait. Maybe jump up on the bed. Jump up on the bed. Might go away. Nope. Oh, never mind. Check out your legs. I think I saved this. Okay. Okay. Because there's a bit of... There's a patch of dark in Who's the doorway there? that'll... Is someone there? No. Imagining things. Okay, I think you're okay now. Okay. Who's that there? Getting getting custom models. Of... What? Oh, wait. Oh, maybe you were too noisy when come going on past. Now, come on. Okay, just wait. <laughs> getting custom models and stuff into Thief is a arduous process, uh, and can be done with Blender, but uh, I'm not ready to try that just yet. Just, yep. Sneak Head around here and then save. Oh God, yeah, rigging is... rigging is a somewhat terrifying prospect. Um, I know Blender's gotten much better at rigging, but I, I'm not the person to ask on that. God. Is that you? I think the thing I'm more interested uh, with 3D stuff and Blender is kind of um, environment design. Honestly, mm. uh, I kind of love that stuff. And maybe using Blender for some level design stuff as well. Um, I know there's some plugins for Blender which make it a bit more appropriate for level design. Uh, Grey boxing. So this is oh, I'm into that. Blender's rigging tools are great, but you can't use them for dark. Yeah, the dark dark engines rigging is fucking cursed, and I hate it, and I never want to go anywhere near it ever again. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, uh, no. Oh, you might need a you might need a key for this one. I have several. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Uh, flash bomb him? Flash bomb him? Yeah. Ah, oh, flash bomb myself. 
didn't look away fast enough. Oh, it's okay. You got him. You got him there. Nice, nice. No, Denton. Um, Vfig will probably know a bit more about this than me. But the way, so Thief kind of has a skeletal rig, but it doesn't. But it doesn't really have a skeleton. Um, what I remember was is you basically got invisible joints on each model, which are then which you define per rig. I don't know, Vfig will probably be better at explaining this to me. All I remember is, when I looked at it, I was very confused. <laughs> and I hated it. Sorry. <laughs> Just making sure she gets a nice sleep. Yeah. All right, so... 725 gold, we're doing pretty good in that. How the music here is so, it makes it so unsettling. Yeah, uh, I love the the music on this one. Okay. Oh, nice and dark in here. Sadly, nothing in there. Yeah. Oh, in here though. Ah. Uh -huh. There's that, and that's about it. That's better loot though. Thank you for the single bit, uh, Frig Hours. Unfortunately, I don't have a notification for, uh, I think, anything below five? I think that's how, how mine work. I'm not entirely certain. Yeah, I think it's I think it's five. Yeah. Uh... It's mostly just uh, out of, like, just to ensure... Fifteen. Fifteen. Well, fifteen is, is, like, the is the first one that has, like, a specific one. But um, I think there's, like, ones that have, like, a generic one beneath that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Vfig has, has has explained how <laughs> bones in thief work. It is very cursed. <laughs> it's very cursed. I have seen some very impressive custom models for thief, but I've also seen a lot of people who just really cannot, will not want to. Ah, there we uh, go. <laughs> That's the, the five comes up. That's right. Thank you for it, guys. Okay. Five is coming. Yeah, I should have these as well. Thank you so much. This is a wooden floor. Uh, yeah, that's a wooden floor, okay. I believe. Oh, this looks like the captain of the guard. Oh, uh, the medallion. This room. All right. There we go. See, the Thief is quite interesting because it is one of those early 3D like games captain which Regal does have. Been holding out on the mages. Good thing he can't hold out on me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Recovering the golden medallion of St. Burrington will reward all the sweat I put into the endless hunt for those damned talismans. By selling it, I will surely make some profit off of this ordeal. Ah, oh. <laughs> Now it's <laughs> mine. In all my years of service at the hand, I have never seen their efforts thoroughly stymied. It's almost as though one of their own handed had taken and hidden the talisman so completely that not even the archmages can find them. Captain E.F. Rejalio. Okay. Thanks for the water. Arch. Yeah. Thief, Thief is one of those games that was quite early on in introducing skeletal uh, bone-based animation hmm. systems. Uh, so it's certainly a bit cursed. Yeah. Um, especially when you consider in the same year you had Half-Life 1 having a pretty amazing uh, Half-Life 1 coming out in the same year with a pretty amazing um, rigging system. Uh, okay. You know what, dude? Although, saying that... Well yeah, you're doing pretty well for loot. Mm -hmm. Saying that, though, I think Th Thief 1 is a pretty early example of um, motion capture as well. Uh, in games. Mm. So you've just, got the, you've just got the double doors down the end. To use yes. Now. Um... So I have the I have the medallions. I just need to find the talisman uh, and the jeweled reading glasses from the central library. How nice! Ah. Yeah, I suppose if you explain it that way, it does it does kind of make sense when we consider that this is quite early. 3D stuff as well from from a certain angle it makes a lot of sense. It's okay. just you know, l looking back on it now with the benefit of hindsight. Good God, <laughs> a rather empty uh, conservatory. 
Yeah, welcome, welcome to Thief Goal. <laughs> <laughs> just, just empty rooms. Yeah, this is there's a there's a rather ambitious mod, uh, which is going back through all the levels mm -hmm. of Thief One to kind of enhance them, keep them keep them playable from a uh, from a vanilla perspective. Yeah, but enhance uh, a lot of the geometry and the amount of work done for the the Thief Gold levels is incredible. Is this room breathing? It's breathing. That's cool. Hold on, before I do that. Okay! That base is coming from here! <laughs> Oh god, this is a loud room. Welcome to the tile tile tiling hell. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Cod, uh, Cod Comrade. Uh yeah, there's a mod being done which is kind of enhancing all the base levels in Thief One. Uh the developer, I think his name is Jack64 on the forums. Um has also they're they were also responsible for an an enhancement mod for Thief Two. But they've just recently released a Thief One uh, mod. The sound. I hate it. <laughs> You've got a. There's a papyrus next the to you. Sound ripples through the air. <laughs> the shadows will not shelter you forever. Oh! Do not. I am on harm. Mages? <laughs> I got him. Oh, you got him? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Don't like this room. Okay. Oh, turn around. Oh. There's a little, uh, yeah, little stand there. Wait, can you block? You? Yes, you can block, but it's kind of pointless. <laughs> 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 Eight old men up in a tower. Eight old men, only one with power. Turn away from the hand with the sword. Count seven and find your reward. Summer B, B uh, sorry, Summer B seventy six, riding in with a raid party of seven. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the raid. We're just playing some thief today. We thieving. We're taffing. We're taffing. It's all tiles. Yeah. <laughs> Very fun flooring here. Thing is, it's making me hard to like this. The 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 base is making it hard to like pick up anything else that's going on. <laughs> it's distracting. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a good. Uh... <laughs> it's such a good um, sound. Oh, try your, try the keys. No, actually, it might be quicker. Let's try that first. Eh, if I can find them. Nope. Ah, yes. Yeah, there you go. Oh, thank God. Oh. Summer B76 says, hey, just missed your reaction to my raid since I was wrapping up the stream. That's fair enough. Thank you so yeah, much, though. Always appreciated. It, yeah, it did go through. No, he didn't. I thought I saw something. <laughs> Did you do his stuff? <laughs> oh, careful, careful, careful. Yeah, I know. Did that shadow move? Ooh. Nope. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. Yeah, I did stream uh, Simon 3D recently, actually. Uh, I, I, I played through the whole game. Just about. Um... Just about. <laughs> oh, you? no. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, my God. <gasps> Quick, get him, get him, get him. <gasps> Oof. Nicely done. Okay, that was, that's two of my, both of my flash bombs gone though. 
And I need to use a uh, healing potion, really. Um, if I have one, I should do. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, we you, you, you got a couple, yeah. Very nice. <sighs> okay. I remember your reaction to the first time you took the healing potion and it only healed one shield <laughs> at first. You were like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's okay, it, it's over time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would be brutal if it only healed one. Oh. That would be very cruel. <laughs> okay, door that doesn't open. Cool. Maybe from this side. Yeah. In fact, why don't you check your map where you are? Uh, I'm in the Earth Tower. You're in the Earth Tower. Okay. Um. Okay. So you need to figure out. So you need to figure out how to get inside the towers, I guess. I'm guessing I can't do it from here. No, not from this side. Yeah. Okay. Can I just say this game's great, by the way? I, I <laughs> like three hours have gone by, but I'm eager to play more still because it's just it's just one of those games I can just sick hours into it. Oh, yeah. It, it's honestly so perfectly paced. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, more guards. Okay. Uh... Not got flash bombs to rely on this time. No. It's okay. Will he open the door? I'll find out, won't we? Oh, here he comes. I, it, it's kind of interesting, because I... Uh, for the longest time, I thought Steve 2 was my favorite, but then I, I kind of went back on that. Oh, Christ. Oh, no! shit, he saw you. No! Yeah, that hurt. Um... Ouchie. Maybe stay in the shadow on the right-hand side. Oh, okay. Maybe try that. Yeah, for the longest time, Steve 2 was my favorite, but then I kind of ended up finding myself preferring a bit of Steve 1, honestly, coming back to it. I think, about, I think the thing with Steve 2 is that Steve 2 feels a little bit imbalanced in places. But Thief 2 definitely has uh, my favorite. Like, Th Thief 2 has some of my favorite levels. Weirdly enough, my favorite level in the whole series is the second level of Thief 2, which is called Shipping and Receiving. Um, I think the reason why I love it is because of uh, the atmosphere. Oh, here comes the other guard. Who's there? Uh, nobody. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, that's those two girls taken care of. I'm grabbing. Okay, I just want to stuff them in the shadows. That was the torch. Actually, that would have been a good idea. I, did, I do have plenty of water arrows. I could have easily done that. Yeah. I, I, it's something I forget I can do sometimes. It's nice to hold on to your your equipment, though. I, I tend to rarely douse torches, honestly. Okay, so this must be the central tower. Okay, yeah, I was... Okay, okay. No, 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 you're not in the central tower. It's what it says. Uh, the map. The map hasn't updated properly. Oh. Uh, head, move. Oh, okay, I'm in the fire the tower. Fire. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you lied to me, man. All right. And I can't get here either, can I? Nope. Well, I've at least uh, gotten rid of the problems here. So when I do get to this point, it'll be fine. You won't have no trouble. Yeah. I'm guessing this is uh, either water or air. That's, that's what's logical. I would say water, judging by the definition. One of the two. Yeah. What is this Avatar Last Airbender bullshit? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I'll try and crouch to minimize my visibility. Oh, wait. The oh, water. Yeah, water actually, I should use a water arrow. <laughs> How many water arrows do you have? 21. Actually, yeah, you might as well. What the? Nothing. Bonk. Wait for the other one to come through. Come on. Just wanted to check. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. Yep. Something there. Nope. 
<laughs> See, I'm just checking if there's anything around here as well, just to be sure. No, that's, that's fair. So this is this is the air tower. Air tower. Um, which means we've got one more tower to clear out, I guess. One more tower corridor to clear out. And Love then, the ambience, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. There's, like, honestly, like, pretty graphics and everything are great, but nothing beats atmosphere. Oh, absolutely. Like, I, I feel like it does a much better job of conveying a sense of place than any <laughs> kind of pretty graphics will ever do. Um, oh. Yeah, the atmosphere which is, is so think, good. Yeah, which is why I think Thief 3 is honestly quite amazing because it's not only has the atmosphere it also looks like pretty swifty graphically <laughs> it's got those nice dynamic shadows and everything it's cool i'm remembering that stealth segment in simon 3d that had the the shadows <laughs> oh god the original concept behind that unfinished castle map of mine was a complete reimagining of this level. Oh! Oh, that's really cool. I would have loved to have seen how that would have panned out. Uh, especially since I think conceptually, this level has some really cool stuff going for it. Um, uh, it just ends up kind of being a little bit linear and, and, uh, and somewhat a little bit constrained by the four tower. For, uh, the, four, the the design of the four towers. That was before it ended up spinning out of control. That's a shame. I do is doing uh, Morrowind kind of... magic in there. Oh, yeah, you recognize the sound effect. <laughs> it just sounded like one of the kind of spells you'd hear from Morrowind. No, no, it's, it's the exact same it's the sound same effect. It's the same one. It's the same one, yeah, same stock sound effect. <laughs> That's a really neat idea. That, a really neat concept, uh, V-Fig. Uh, if you ever do, if you do ever get background to to that concept, I don't know. It's going to be really cool. Um, okay. There are some more stairs up in the central tower. Central by the way. tower. Yeah. Okay. I've got to climb the, the Vuvuzela room. The Vuvu <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, the, the stuff I love about. Uh, Thief levels. I, I love it when they get into the kind of arcane sort of stuff. Oh yeah, it's I, really I, cool. Yeah, I love that sort of stuff. I, I really want to um, I was working on a level which involved kind of like um, allusions to eldritch like artifacts and stuff like that in a, in a kind of public library mm -hmm. census office sort of thing. Um, it would have been a cool idea if I got around to finishing it, but I think I need to kind of go back to the drawing board on that. Thank you, Drifting, for the five bits. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, Drifting. How you doing? Do I have the key for this door? So, to you might want to look to the right of the door. Just outside the doorway. Oh. So there's some sort of thing here. <laughs> <laughs> trying to bash it. Yeah, I don't know what goes in there. So you're going to need something to go in there. But for now, you're going to need to keep exploring elsewhere. Okay. I suggest I suggest trying to find the library. Uh, yes. As well as the, he as well as the head major's office. The, we, well. we do need to do something in there in the first place. So mm. yeah, that's how we get to the towers. Um, yeah. Even if this level had just let you get into at least some of the towers from this upper level would have improved this about mm -hmm. yeah definitely because because the kind of the way that you progress through this level is a little bit linear oh, i thought there was a guy stood there but he's just he's just flying <laughs> he's just floating <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's going for a swim <laughs> oh, i'm just swimming be careful i don't want to toss him off by accident don't freak no that was bad phrasing Phrasing. Phrasing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, throw him down the pit. Oh, Connor, you would do that, though. Yeah. <laughs> what? Toss a guy off by accident? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Wait, where the hell am I going? Yeah, go down a bit. Because you haven't uh, been down here yet. 
Someone took a little bit of a nasty cough. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay. I'm trying to see what patrol routes are around here. Hey, what though? I'm, I'm gonna put this one out. Zoop. Nice. It's quite funny. I just looked at the stream, and, and it's so much brighter. You can almost see everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, you're here. I can tell you're struggling in the dark. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got a couple doors here. Yeah, maybe check your keys. Oh, this one. Keys? Okay. There you go. Oh. It's like, uh, some labs. I can finally get back to work. My apologies for being behind schedule on the new round of vivisection. The workmen are finally cleared out, having just finished walling up the last main entrance to those infernal sewers. The old sewers are still largely unmapped, but present too much of a security risk to be left. I find it amazing that they reach back to the city despite our distance from it. There is still one secret entrance that we can use to traverse the sewers. The guards that patrol it will deal with anything unfortunate enough to struggle out of that muck. Adept Heseki Bezar. Mm-hmm. Oh. That is an oh. Iron Maiden. That looks nice. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Bill and Ted joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, Bill and... You know, oh, Bill crap! And Show yourself. Oh! Run, 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 run! Did he see? Oh, he did, but he <laughs> he stopped following you. Okay, that that actually works. Yeah. He's got to hope he doesn't t turn around this area. Actually, if I st stick to this wall, perhaps. Stay crouched. Yeah. Okay. And you got back to normal. Oh crap. Time to, Another guy. Time to... I love the sounds. Huh? <laughs> ah, oh, What happened? What happened indeed, sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he commented on the guy who was knocked out. Yeah. Whilst falling. That's great. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a new key. Oh, it is. Is that the one that I can use for the uh, central? Potentially. I'm going to put this one out because uh, just in case someone else walks by. Yeah. All right. Good idea. Uh, arrow. Uh, store, uh, store room here. Water arrow. Bit of oh, loot. Bit of loot. Bit of loot. Uh, we're not far off, actually. We're about two, roughly. Oh yeah, you'll yeah you'll very easily get yeah. it. Oh, there's something else there on the right on the shelf. Okay. Something else that you missed. Oh. Oh yeah, we're, oh. we're really quite almost there, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, you guys can see <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the the everything better than me. It was obscured in darkness. Oh uh, my end. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, that's interesting. That's a door. Oh yeah, that that doesn't look off at all. Oh yeah. We could just open fine. it with our bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett using telepathy. <laughs> uh huh. That's a bottle. Oh. <sighs> Don't. This game train usually like wince at loud noises. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, you like jump on some it's marble and you're like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's kind of funny because um, I have a thing about like loud noises in real life as well. Oh. Uh, like dropping. I have a bit of a nightmare about dropping plates and it's smashing, oh. and making a huge noise. Um, 
<laughs> Thief has trained me well, it seems. There's nothing up here. Wait, maybe look up. Oh, there's like oh. a, a secret. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, oh okay, so it's a little, a little oh, secret Oh, there's entrance. secret entrance in the hedge maze. Ah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's a mage. But hey, you got all the loot now, so. Yeah, loot is completed. That was actually really easy, that, that one. Wind blows, yeah, that was pretty easy in burns, comparison. Water flows, I, shall walk <laughs> path to my I shall walk the path. They, they remind me of uh, Dagoth Ur. Oh my god, you're right. <coughs> Come, Nerevar. <laughs> they have the same <laughs> energy. <laughs> Hey, that? Oh crap! How did he not see you? Careful, he might he might come over to you. <laughs> oh my god, the mages—they definitely sound like Dagoth Ur now. My god. <laughs> Dagoth Earl welcomes you, Garrett. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of this. This place where destiny is stolen. I need to finish Morrowind at some point. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to I need to go back and do the DL, the the expansions. Mm. I was like half, I was halfway through Tribunal before I lost all my saves. Oh no! Oh that's <laughs> that's that's brutal. It's painful. I, it's okay, I I think I got pretty far through the main quest. Um, because I remember meeting um, I can never remember his name. Uh, the dwarf with spider legs. Oh, um, big uh, Bagram. Yagram Bag Bagan or something. Yagr Yagam Bagan Dagan. Yeah. Yagi Baggy. Yeah. Yagi Baggy. Yeah. Um, I know the guy. Okay. Yeah. That's a, that's a very memorable bit where you go through the 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 corpusarium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. Like that yeah, I've definitely done that, gone that far in the story, which I, I think is is a fair amount of the way through. That's pretty far. Yeah, that's pretty far. Okay, so we need to find the library. I'm in the dungeon, which means we want to go up. Gonna... I I think you've missed something down here, that like another doorway. Yeah, to your left. Yeah, head that way. I, I haven't gone down here, have I? No, you haven't. It's quick save. See, the, the good thing is, is that I love Morrowind, so I can very easily go back and, and, and do the entire main quest again. Um, that would be quite fun to do, actually. Aha, uh -huh, that opens that one. Oh, this is definitely the dungeon. They got <laughs> pillories and racks. Excuse me. Um, and a book. To read these words is to know pain. To know pain is to live in fear. To fear is to travel to the false path. You must face your fear to see the truth. The truth is that there is no pain. To know the truth is to walk the enlightened path. Great. Thanks. See, that's that's exactly the kind of thing that someone who does torture would write, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. A couple more of these... Uh, Iron Maiden. Something Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Pain is the true path. Uh. <laughs> mm, pain is good for me, you see. <laughs> Crush your cock with a rock. I must <laughs> know. <laughs> Maximum pain you will endure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Is that, that fellow around here? Oh, these are the sewers. I'm gonna try and knock this guy out. Yeah, sprint sprint on over to him. You should be okay. I'm pretty sure it's just him. Oh yeah. god, he's going down the stairs. Oh, he's coming down. Hold on. <laughs> I've, I've got a plan. I must point out it's, 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 it's a, a fairly step. awful plan. But it is a plan nonetheless. I wanna see how this is. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no! Oh. You'll have to do better than that. Yeah, yeah, you need to you need to activate your blackjack first. Yeah. And then jump. I knew exactly I what went wrong as soon as you did it. Yeah. <laughs> so get your black get your blackjack out, activate it. Yeah. Now now you're ready. Drop that weapon. Oh no! Oh, Don't move. So close. Well. <laughs> oh, he's You're a pincushion now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, you take you take a lot of damage from doing that. <laughs> yeah. Someone there. I'll do it this way. Uh oh. Uh oh. As soon as I find you, you're dead. Oh, here he comes. Uh, ah, didn't even scratch. <laughs> you're a pincushion now, Tapper. Can't see me. <laughs> you can't see me. Come actually, where did he go? Me. No, he actually can't see. You. <laughs> All right. Take that! Oh, Ooh. you! He's, oh, he's oh, not just oh, so oh. keen-eyed. That's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait for him to turn around and I'm gonna sneak. Sneaky sneak. I don't be quite fun to get you to play some of the actual hey. like horror fan missions. Yeah. Because they completely changed the dynamic of the gameplay. I'll find you. Sure. Damn you. Careful now, careful now. I think he's seen you. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Must have been rats. Okay, yeah, you're fine now. <clears throat> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not rats. So I'll just trigger a, a bit of dialogue here, because it's, it's kind of nice. Head into the open sewer. Okay. And yeah, just head in there. Hmm. This looks like the way out. That'll come in useful later. Okay, that's so that's yeah. That's how we leave. Yeah, there we go. So now you can head back up, and we'll get to the library. That's the best way to go. Yep. I like the exponential speed you get from diagonal bunny hopping. Mm. <laughs> it's fun. The bunny hopping is great fun in this game. So where do we go to climb? So I think, yeah, head back up the stairs to your right. Ah, oh, yes. And maybe, maybe stop off at the first door. Actually, wait, was there something there? Something where? On your left, behind you. Behind you. Here? Oh, no, okay, it was just a, a trick of the texture. Oh, okay. Up here. Yeah. Stop off here and yeah, you should be able to. You'll be. I think you'll be able to find your way to the library fairly easily. I imagine so. I wonder if it's here. Oh, this is a. Uh, this is the front entrance. You've been there. Oh. Yeah. Maybe check. Yeah. Maybe check down there. I'm gonna do a save. Uh, ba. Ba ba. Ba ba. Storeroom or oh, just like some sort of. This is a not a good use of space. <laughs> it's it's another example of a room where if they had more time to detail it, yeah. I bet you it would look great. But right now it's just a really really large room. Yeah. With no chairs. Overscaled. With the tables, I might add. Yeah, overscaled. Yeah, for definite. This is the library. Uh, okay, books. see books. <laughs> books are <laughs> sure a sign of a library. Um, I okay. shall build shelters from the winds, feel the countless waters. So this is where the mages hide their dirty little secrets. <laughs> you might not have noticed it, but there are there are actually four different types of mages which you've been encountering. One for each uh, element. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I hadn't quite noticed, but uh, makes sense. All right, Mage Verlin. Azaran's interest in necromancy has not dis diminished. Oh, naughty boy! Despite his banishment, his study of the black arts continues to inspire in Dayport. We fear that his experiments with reanimation and rats 
Reanimation of rats and insects will lead to more disturbing depths. He has even endeavoured to recruit others on a crusade to recover the Book of Ash. The Book of Ash must remain a thing of the past. As Iran's ambition has blinded him to this, and he has proven himself a threat to our existence, his expulsion has only made him more resilient. It is the decision hey, um... of the Inner Circle. Sorry, you want to say something? No, 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 no. Finish it first. It is the decision of the Inner Circle that greater measures be taken to correct this matter. So, two things. Uh, Azaran gets a nice little Easter egg in Thief 2. Mm -hmm. And secondly, uh, this readable is what inspired me for the plot of my fan missions Ooh. that I was working on. Neat. Because uh, it would have it would have involved Azaran working with a bunch of politicians. Oh, that's cool. Uh, in in order to get hold of the Book of Ash, basically. Oh. Uh, and do some nefarious shit. <laughs> Basically, it was gonna. <laughs> the crux of it was gonna come down to the politicians are corrupt. Here's a big bad evil mage. <laughs> um, <laughs> bad stuff. Bad stuff happens. Capitalism bad. <laughs> Sounds good. Also, I'll take care, Maddie. Gotta pick up more litter for Rose. That's fair enough. Take care of that kitty cat. Yeah. Okay. The Book of Ash is an Easter egg itself, of course. Is it really? Hmm. Mastery of water requires that you return to the ways of your beginning. For nine moons you lived in water, and then were born to a world of air and earth. You have forgotten your past, but we will teach you to remember. Put away model thoughts of breath and discover the ways of the sea. Do not walk the path with your limbs. Instead, allow your body to flow within it and become part of it. Until you have gained full mastery of over water, return to the air, O oh adept, and cherish its protective sucker. Sucker? I don't know that word. In time, you will feel the warm embrace of water traversing the entire system without need of breath. Oh, yeah, oh. sucker. Yeah, sucker. Also, is, apparently, the Book of Ash is an Evil Dead reference. Makes ah. sense of the I, I, I haven't actually yeah. seen Evil Dead. Um, yeah, it makes sense that would be. Sakar. Sakar. Sakor. Okay. Um eight old men in a tower. Oh. Eight old men only. Yeah, this is tower. the this oh, is yeah. the same papyrus that you picked up earlier. I see. The mage models in the earlier were shown in earlier screenshots. Oh yeah, no, I remember that. I remember looking at the old thief website. <laughs> That's some cool stuff on there. Yeah, and then it was never shown. Then the, the, the mages weren't actually released <laughs> in the original game. Ah, lower library. Okay, I'm gonna look there then. So where does this go? I think uh, the lower library, I would assume. <laughs> Unless this is... Oh, okay. Unless this is the, the lower, lower library. Yeah. The deep library. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of loot in this one. Yeah, I got plenty of loot. I don't need to pick it up right now, but at least it'll give me more uh, sort of stuff to to grab for. Uh, yeah, more, more stuff to buy. Yeah, yeah, for the next mission. So. Oh, I see them. I think the mages are kind of criminally under underused. They're cool. Of the thief world. Yeah, I think I think they're really cool. Um, and I was gonna do uh, my fan missions concepts that I was working on. We're gonna have a lot to do with the mages because I, I just think they're cool. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Mysterious. Oh yeah, Denton, I love that Easter. I I love that the fact that the vault actually opens if you wait eight hours. That's fun. Really? Fun. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the one point eighteen patch and later. Yeah. Yeah. Stand and it's oh god! Ah! Whoa! Oh, that's so much damage! Ah! It's got good aim. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Messed that up slightly, but that's okay. I'll just be sipping on my bubble tea. <laughs> that's All right. What I'm gonna do? Did I? Did I? <gasps> No. 
There we go. Let's lead up. Sometimes it's just like speed is like just really good. Just get things done quickly. Yeah, you do it before the guards have like a, ta a chance to react, basically. Yeah. Okay. Was there anything on that table? I don't think so. I didn't see anything. There's nothing. No. Okay. Stream will tell. Uh, chat will tell us if there was anything. I looked over at my OBS. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. Let's do a quick save here. This is making me want to do my uh, my my annual replay. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah. I need to finish my replay of Thief Two actually. Okay. So like we once were, are these who now inhabit this land? They are the crystallists that shall become. We have adopted those few who have shown potential for enlightenment. Okay. Enlightenment. What does that need from here? Jeweled reading glasses. From the central library. That's just rope arrows. Not to be sneezed at, of course. They are handy. Yeah, there's some helpful stuff there. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we've sorted out this lower area, but it's a central library we want to get the glasses from anyway, so not the lower yeah, so library. If you, yeah, head back up the stairs and check out the floor that you just came from. Yeah, check out this floor. I want to say that as well. Oh, there's another guard somewhere. Hold on. Uh, I'm just gonna hang. Hey, JR plays games! Thank you so much for the raid too! Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We taffin' still. Oh, we taff. Okay, he's gone into that room there. He's actually gone into the room that you need to go into. Careful, I think it's tile. Oh, you got him. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. Oh. Oh. Green greed shall be your undoing, poor Garrett. Cool, thanks. Do not let fear control your path, Garrett. Thanks, statue. Decep deception is your power, Garrett. Thanks. <laughs> Betrayal will force you to see, Garrett. Cool. I... I, this is never explained, but I love it. <laughs> okay. Does this do anything? Okay. Are they just are they just vibing here? They're just vibing here. They're oh, just here right. to chat to you. All right. So is this where I need to be, or no? So you oh. can you can uh, leave now and go back up the stairs ah, yes. to the to the upper library. <laughs> I just love that room. I, I it never it never explains anything. Uh, There's never explained, but it does foreshadow stuff very nicely. Cool. Papyrus, notes from the council uh, session of the Inner Circle. Due to a disastrous experiment by Archmage Jabu Ibn Lani, the water tower will be closed until further notice due to flooding. Hello there. General Kenobi, thank you for the 65 bits. <laughs> Harper <laughs> onions. Uh, all future experiments using water elementals are forbidden by mutual consent of the Inner Circle until we can devise stronger wards. Our keep must remain unified and maintain tradition. Each tower holds the key of another to maintain the doctrine of trust. Since the key of the tower of the tower, uh, since the key to the tower of water was. Hold on. JR, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Uh, sorry, I had to disappear for a sec. Enjoy the raid. I, I very much thank you. Uh, as always, very kind. Uh, where was I? Since the key to the Tower of Water was lost controlling the accident, the Fire Mages have no symbol to guard. And Gianni is raiding with the party of 63. Hi, Gianni. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you, everybody? Welcome. We're playing some Thief. Uh, Hamburger. <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> oh, burger. Yeah, playing some Thief today. And we are on the, uh, what's this level called? The Mages Guild? 
as the Mage Towers. Mage Tower. Okay. Uh, so what we're stealing is we're looking for some uh, jeweled reading glasses um, and an Earth Talisman. Uh, the Earth Talisman is going to help us get yeah. into the Haunted Cathedral, which we tried to go to before, but we realized we couldn't quite get to. So. <laughs> no, not quite. Not quite yet. Um, we've got some talismans to find. Okay. Therefore, the Fire Mages shall keep the key to the chamber in the central tower that holds our treasured possession. Actually, I suppose I should, I should introduce myself if people don't know who I am. I, I always forget to do that when people raid me. I'm like, oh, wait, people are raiding me and they might not know me. <laughs> I'm 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 Scarfulu. I make videos about uh, games like Retro FPS and uh, Point and Clicks. Um, I don't actually have a thing for my YouTube, do I? Like a and a command. I should get on that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a professional streamer, everybody. I know You're what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Johnny has. I'm leaving uh, immediately. I gotta go get some grub. But keep being awesome. Have fun. Thank you so much, Johnny. It's nice to see you either way. Uh, yeah, I don't have a YouTube command. It's it's down in the links below somewhere. Um, yeah, do the links below, and you can you can see. But yeah, it if you if you like games like Blood or like Outlaws, um, Ultra Kill, I've I've done videos on on all those. Um, specifically naming Retro FPS because you come from Gianni, of course. Um, okay. The key of the Tower of Earth shall remain in the Tower of Water, since the waters water mages are the only ones who can survive entering the flooded areas. Archmage Krios. So, that's a nice little clue for everything. I'll say... The jeweled reading glasses are in here somewhere. Just from the point out to people joining, the, the game may look pretty bright. Um, that is only on the stream's end. I've just brightened it for the sake of people watching um, so they can see. Um, it is much darker for me. I, I cannot see. So, it's in here somewhere. It is in here somewhere. Okay, it's probably one of those little cryptic areas where you got to, like, flip a switch, right? Yeah, uh, perhaps. Yeah. I mean, you're in a li you're in a library. Every library has like a, yeah. a secret, doesn't it? Of course. Uh, lazy guy. Yes, highly recommend watching uh, Connor's videos. I may be biased because I'm I'm Connor's friend, but uh, they are very good. <laughs> There's a thing here, and th and thank you, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I. There's a door mm. there, but I don't know how to get there's through a, it. There's a door there. Um. Uh. Hmm. Very warm. <laughs> you're very. You're super warm. You're boiling. Oh, there it is. Aha! There Aha! You go. Nice. Jeweled glasses. Look at them. So funky. This will make any Tiny little spectacles. Got some water arrows as well. Uh, I see you discontinued Hollow Knight and Pathologic 2. Care to explain this? <laughs> it's it's <laughs> more to do with the the length of those games um, than anything else. I was enjoying them like uh, immensely. It's just you know sometimes with longer games that are kind of slower in pace, they don't necessarily make good stream games. Um, I'd like uh, to finish Pathologic them. Pathologic 2. Yeah, Pathologic is a fantastic game. Mm -hmm. But trying to stream that game takes a lot <laughs> like don't get me wrong i think those both of those games are excellent uh it, it, yeah but it's just you know <laughs> I've got, yeah. I, I i need to come back to them in my own time i think and pathologic is an awful lot of reading as well yes it is it's a it's a it's it's, it's hell on the voice um when you're like doing streams where you're basically just reading constantly like the reason like part of the reason it's good to do like uh ace attorney with itamar is uh you know he can take half the characters yeah. Oh, you're back uh, okay. where you were before. So, now we just... So you've got everything now. You just need to figure out how to get the Earth Talisman. <laughs> oh, yeah, VFig. Yeah, we, we got some people talking I, about Pathologic. I, I know VFig is a huge fan of Pathologic. I, I am like the, um, the number one Pathologic <laughs> memester. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, come on. <laughs> if you if you if you search pathologic memes in Google, some of my work is on there. Um... <laughs> yeah, uh, my cat's back. Connor's had made some pretty good memes. Yeah. I made it. I made a couple as well. Yeah. Um... My cat has such returned. a great game. Oh, the cat has returned. Say hi to Rosie, everybody. She is a sweet cat. Such a sweetie. Scared of starting the pathologic games. 
I I would probably recommend yeah boy uh trying out Pathologic 2 because there's um there's a lot of difficulty settings oh, yes, that yeah. you can fiddle around with yeah Pathologic 2 technically isn't quite finished but there is still quite a yeah. lot of game there, well, um, it's, it's, and you can you can adjust you can adjust the game to your own experience and still kind of get the story. It's interesting with Pathology too, because I mean, technically you can play through like a, you can make a, do a full play through the game start to finish, but it's only it's only one character, where the first game had three characters that you could play through the game with, and the, the intended experience was to go through all of them. Um, yeah, and and they they want to add uh, the other two characters to Pathologic too, but. Uh, Unfortunately, they they the uh, were struggling a bit financially. I I really hope they can get around to doing the Bachelor. I mean, it's supposedly they are working on it. Um, yeah, it's just taking a bit of time. Uh, they've been working on a couple of other yes, projects, which also been say, great. No by heart um, is a game they're working on, and that's coming out soon. I I I will definitely be picking up No by Heart when it uh, comes out, because um, that one looks really really cool. I yeah, I yeah. I'm I, anything by Ice Pick Lodge is just immediately interesting to me. So oh yeah, definitely. I I'm a big fan of um, the Void and Knock mm. Knock. I think that's a I think that's a really interesting game. The Void was the first one um, that I played from Ice Pick Lodge. I got it in like a in a horror bundle on Steam. Uh, I didn't understand it at all, and it scared me. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty spooky game. Um, uh, also, yeah, Vivek, you're, you're actually kind of right there. Yeah, it's, it's saying Pathologic 2 isn't finished is like saying Star Wars 1977 yeah. isn't finished. It's technically a finished film, mm. uh, a finished game. Yeah, it's just it's missing the other two characters. So there's there's kind of like mm. um, a broader experience, which isn't quite there yet. Though you can play as the Bachelor in the Marble Nest uh, DLC, which is kind of like a self-contained yeah. short Pathologic um, which, if you want like a sort of small taste of the game, uh, it's, it's definitely worth looking into. Also, oh, yeah, where the hell am I going? <laughs> okay, uh, I you forgot. need to head outside Ooh. and head to the water tower. Ah, okay. So this is this is a uh, way outside, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, your boy says. Buddy games. Do Suggestions. Um, also, hi, games. I, I do take game suggestions. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean I'll be able to do them, um, but I, I I try my best to at least have it. A... That is a loud dog. Uh, I try my best to look <laughs> into them. But like I said, so I, I check your map just to find your way to the tower. Okay, so we want to go around and then over to the south, uh, southeast. East. Yeah. Let me just pull up my compass. Where is it? There we go. Okay, so that's Basically, yeah, if you turn if you turn to your left okay. yeah. and and kind of head through the door on your left. Yeah, just follow it. Follow it all the way around and you should be okay. Careful as well, just in case there's some patrols out here. Oh, there's my cuddle pile that I made earlier. <laughs> okay. Around here? So that's the that's one of the towers. Yeah. Yeah. So you just want to head on through here. I I think actually there's there's some pretty we we've, we've ended up starting some pretty good discussion about pathologic now. Yeah. Um, pathologic oh, one definitely has. Just the only ones allowed in. Why won't they allow us into their towers? We're here to keep a watch on the commons and to deal with mundane threats. The mages can protect themselves. But what with all the secrecy? Even the servants ain't allowed there. These wizards trust anyone? I found it best not to ask questions. The gold they give me answers all oh, the done. questions I have. <laughs> Shit. Oh, okay. You're just, oh, God. You're, you're that, was, that was a close one. <sighs> that was a close one, yeah. <laughs> Should I take these guys out? I'm going to try to. Uh, you, you might as well. You might as well bop them. Yeah. Um, yeah, one of the things I like about Pathologic 1 versus Pathologic 2, uh, Pathologic 2 is very much more theatrical with its themes. Um, I think Pathologic 2 plays with a lot of kind of metaphysical commentary. Mm. And I love that. Whereas Pathologic 1 deals with kind of... I, I don't know. But, uh, it's really hard to say. I just, I, I just really like the Pathologic One game. I, I just really like the Pathologic games. There's so much you can talk about with them. 
and there's and there's some real beautiful sort of nar uh, commentary and narrative stuff in there. Um, anyway, welcome to the water tower. It's a bit flooded. Well, it is the water tower, I suppose. Yeah. Oh. It's a little flooded. Interesting. Um, Can I have a breath potion just in case? <laughs> also, <I> Denton, <laughs> Denton is saying uh, he found Pathologic 1 easier than 2. That's interesting. Hmm. Uh, Pathologic 2 does one of the most amazing things ever, uh, and that is add a run button. Um, <laughs> <laughs> The Earth key. The Earth key. So that can get you inside the Earth Tower. Ah. Oh, there you go. So, the route should now be clear. Also, I, I love how the entrance is just a key. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna not die. Yeah. The cat is still on my lap, by the way. Maybe I see like a tail, fl like, <laughs> like <laughs> flying past All my right. face occasionally. Oh, she's jumped off. Never mind. Oh. Man. I mentioned it and she left. I could have sworn there was supposed to be a mage here, but I guess not. Maybe that's in one of the Whoa. other towers. What the hell? Never mind. The door just flung me up in the air slightly. <laughs> <laughs> I got booped by a door. Uh, got so find the earth tower okay. now. I'm going to do a save just in case, as you do. This has been a fun mission, actually. I quite like it. Earth tower. Yeah, I... So okay. that's uh, to the west. To the west. The interesting thing about Pathologic One, I uh, Clon Clon says, um, it's, uh, everyone pretty much agrees that Pathologic One has too much walking. I can kind of agree. I mean, it, I, it, I has lot, um, I it has a lot. It has a lot of walking, but in a way, I it. feel like it. I think it really adds to the experience. The monotony the is point. part of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think the mundanity yeah. and and just how mind-numbingly boring the walking is is kind of part of it. That was close. Um, I, there's a line of dialogue that I think is that is perfect. It's um, it's something like uh, it's not too hard. Um, it's not too challenging. It's not too hard, Someone but it's a very there. important mission. Something like now. Nice coin collection here. Yes. I think it depends on how you kind of frame the uh, the walking in Pathologic. Pathologic Two definitely does a good job of like making it not as bad, not not as uh, stressful uh, and taxing. But I I do think that the walking around in Pathologic One is part of the experience. Um. I can also understand why it turns a lot of people off, though. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I I think the additions that Pathologic Two makes, though, to make the walking less difficult, are perfect. They are so brilliantly uh, balanced with everything else because, as the plague worsens and spreads, you have to start relying less and less on those fast travel concessions. Yes. Um. So if you become too reliant on the mm. fast travel stuff. Uh, and everything like that, it, it becomes a much more kind of engaging experience, I think. Cool earth wraps tightly around us. Constrictive veins of tower tunnels caress beating heart of grinding rock. In mastery of my element, I leap from stone to falling stone. Boulders float as feathers. That is from Adept Arun's Notebook. Some scribbled poetry. Hmm. He's a poet. I don't even know it. Yeah. Okay. What you know what? You know what I kind of want to do at some point. What? I should do like oh. a, a thief-inspired makeup at some point. I, sorry, could you read that? I uh, I I was bopping a guy. I didn't hear you. <laughs> I should do a thief-inspired makeup look. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Did you go for that? I was just thinking that, yeah. Like, um, one of my favourite characters, uh, one of my favourite characters in the in the Thief games is uh, Victoria, actually. Oh yeah. I should, de I I should definitely do something inspired by Victoria. Also, it's an interloper <laughs> from, from Spider Make it might just end up looking like Jason with blackface. Well, I don't mean as in I just do like I wouldn't do makeup inspired by the shadows, you know. <laughs> 
I'm, inspired by the different characters and stuff like that. That could be fun. I'm getting Zen vibes from this. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. I think the mushrooms, the floating platforms, the sort of green, awful textures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Clon, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, Pathologic 2 is a much Something. more is a much easier to approach game, but I also think I, I think I think people should still kind of go into Pathologic 1. Maybe not necessarily play it, though. Um I'm gonna I, I think one of the best ways to get into Path to, to understand Pathologic 1 is uh you've got H Bomber Guy's video mm -hmm. essay on Pathologic. But you've also got the brilliant video essay series by Sol Matul. Yes, that's the who, that's uh, the one that that's like that's Sol Matul, she got me into pathologic. Like Yeah, she she's done such a brilliant job <laughs> of explaining. Oh, oh, you're gonna die. I'm Maybe okay. Not. Um I have healing potions, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, you should be okay. I, I do think I, I don't think you necessarily need to play Pathologic One. I, I do think you get a lot out of playing it, but I understand if people you know, they give it a try, mm -hmm. um, uh, and they just kind of bounce off it. Because, uh, but yeah, Solma Tool, she's done a brilliant video, kind of explaining <laughs> everything, Pr literally everything. The uh, Mandalore game, Mandalore Gaming has done some pretty good reviews. I would not consider them good overviews necessarily, because I think there's a there's a lot that Mandalore vi misses in his Pathologic One video. Um, <laughs> you can do it. Oh, I'm okay. jumping. Okay, you know what? Just. Oh. 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 Okay, you got it. Okay. okay, now just wait. Yeah. I just want to say as well that uh, the first time I played Pathologic, uh, it was because a friend recommended it to me. And um, I uh, didn't really know the difference between the original version and the classic HD. Uh, so I thought, I should probably play the original version before I play like the remake. <laughs> Because oh, I heard there was no. a remake coming. Oh, no. The remake being Pathologic 2 eventually. Um, so I played the original translation, and I had no clue what was going on. I was like, this game the original, is very the original, bizarre. Yeah, the original translation uh, is fun. Uh, just to clear up a uh, conversation going on with between Denton and Klon, I, I, I think I understand where Klon's coming from. Uh, but also, you know, it's it's just a matter of perspective and what, what, it, what is kind of like... Uh, what Clon thinks is like the better way to go um, as a recommendation mm -hmm. for Pathologic series. I think adding on to what Clon is saying, I think, I think going into Pathologic two, I think you're you're very much rewarded for knowing more about Pathologic one. Oh uh, yeah, when you, go in, it, when you go into Pathologic two, the intro itself kind of like uh, bases itself that on the fact that you that you've likely played it before, <laughs> you've likely played the original game because mm. it's it starts you pretty much at the end. Of the first game. Yes, it's it's such a brilliant reference because then you have you, you have that character. I've forgotten his name now, but he's completely different to how he is in Pathologic One. Completely which, different. Which uh, the stage. Of? Oh yes. Uh, the stage yes. guy. Um, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember his name now. Um, it looks like an anime villain. <laughs> it's got like it's got like a a kind of um, a very meta name, I think. Oh, oh. Mark Immortal. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Beef. Um, yeah, he's very he, his his character is very different in in two to one, um, mm -hmm. and I absolutely adore what they do with him in two. But he bas he he's basically somewhat aware that pathologic one exists. Yes, uh, hey, and it's really yeah. it's really fucking cool. It's really fucking cool. Is this, is this a vision? I need to get around. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm. Ooh. Marvin, though, I haven't gotten around to. To really giving Pathologic a proper shake, uh, beyond like a few hours. I still, I still want to support um, Ice Pick Lodge with all their games. Oh, so this takes you out. Uh, oh, this, to is, where the, you were this is the way out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you want to head up? Uh, I think you want to head up a bit more. Uh, Klon and Denton, I, I I think is worth putting a putting a pin in that. Uh, whatever way has been worded, I think you guys both end up agreeing. Pathologic's great. Go and play it. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, there's no point arguing over over semantics <gasps> and, and the ways of wording it. In the way, words um, of H-Bomb, Pathologic is genius, and here's why. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, hi, Scum and Villainy. Hi, Scum and Villainy, nice to see you. How are you Playing doing? Thief. Yeah, some thief. Meanwhile, slippers. <laughs> I think I'm all going around in this circle. Yep, I sure am. Uh, all right. Yeah, there's there's something you're missing. You need to go further up. Here we go. Yeah. Does this physical space work, or am I just getting lost? It, it, it does. I think you're okay. just getting a bit confused because right. everything is brown. I think you may need to like does it look. Shit, you need something to look? Oh. is amiss. <laughs> Now, I know you. I know you're just saying. Does this does this place make sense physically? Uh, there are actually some great thief fan missions which manage to trick you into uh, thinking that you're in a non-Euclidean space. Oh my goodness! Uh, one of my favorites is um, what is it? The Inscrutable Tower of Malazar, or something like that, which is quite possibly one of the best fan missions I've I think, ever. Yeah, I think I've heard you mention that one before. Yeah, it's the one with the weeping angel. Oh yes, you definitely have mentioned that one. Yeah, but you basically enter this tiny tower, and then it turns out the tower is uh, bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, and there's lots of really good secrets in there. I, I adore that level. It's uh -oh. so good. Uh oh, uh oh, hide. Might want to run. Might want to run a bit. Break line of sight. Yeah. May wisdom guide you on your journey, fallen. Uh, or I e failed uh, to find the intruder. You know you didn't. You seen you. Return to the. Hey, uh, Clon and Denton, can you invader. put a? Yeah, just kind of drop it at this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, you cannot. You yeah. cannot. I saw no. the intruder. Oh, V Fig, you haven't played Malazar? Oh my God, I would have expected the you to play that. Please, will not please go play it. It's so fucking good. Long. Oh, I, I won't spoil. I won't spoil any more than I already have. But it's so good. It's so good. Please go play it. <laughs> You'll love it. Uh, I swear. Uh, Malazar is uh, a level uh, by. Um... Oh, what's his name? I will. Oh, there's a rope arrow. Cool. Oh yeah, because now you need to you need to climb up now uh, at some somewhere. Oh, there you go. Good. So that is actually a wooden surface that you can put in. Um... Uh, Malazar is a fan mission by Nict. That's his name, Nict. Um, and Nict has created some of my favorite fan missions, honestly. Um, there are some really great ones. Oh, no, it's it's not by the Gloomwood dev, uh, Denton. Uh, the Gloomwood, uh, Gloomwood dev, uh, Dylan Rogers, did a playthrough of it. Um, uh, and he loved it. He loved it. It was great. Hell? Am I going the right way? You are in the right direction, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh. I think you're safe, but uh, yeah, you just end up dropping moss. down. That's moss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Nick, he also did a level called, um, what's it called? Behind, no, not behind closed doors. Uh, can't remember ex its name exactly, but it involves vampires. That's cool. Um, and there's a really terrifying section where you have to go through a pitch black mine filled with zombies, and it's genuinely fucking terrifying. It's super spooky. Ooh. Aha! Oh, you might have you might have found the right place. Okay. Drop on down. Let me just take everything in here first. Air key. Nice. Okay. So we're just going to do a little loop around, are we? Yeah, now you just need to find the way out. Uh, over to the air tower. Okay, where the hell am I? Oh, hold on. I can just. I know I, I know actually know where I am. Uh, oh, lost arrows. Yeah, rip arrows. There we go. So air tower, and then I guess that will direct me over to the fire tower. Yep, and, and then you'll go back to the central tower. 
it's it's a neat it's a neat structure, but when you come back to to replaying this level, it's I, can, a bit... I can see why it might annoy people. Yeah, yeah. Also, Vfix says uh, new mantle giving you an easy way out of the chest room there. <laughs> so I, I guess the intention was that you would have roped arrow, you would have used the rope arrow to get out of there. Because uh, a new mantle, you can just climb through the small hole. <laughs> just run past these guys. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, Vfig, I don't know how how caught up you are on the the thief contest missions, but um, uh, thief two, the twentieth anniversary contest for thief two had some really great levels. Um, but the one million units, uh, the one million units uh, contest had some absolute bangers, like really great levels. Um, very inspiring as well. That's the way uh, up. Yeah, considering what people were able to do with the limitations. Uh, there. Lurking is uh, basically if you're in a stream and you, you you're like you're watching but you're not really saying anything. You just come on with a lurk. So you just take exclamation mark lurk and you can just kind of just let, let the viewer know that you're there. Um, oh, you're just chilling. Oh yeah. Oh, can I use? Oh, uh, you can probably yeah. You can head out this way and then just head down through the central tower to to yeah. get to the entrance to the air tower. Uh, yeah, Vfig, I I highly recommend playing the um. The one million units uh, contest maps. There are just some amazing work in there. Really amazing work in there. Um, ah, Vuvu's Ring. So nice to see ah. you. <laughs> A familiar face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just kicking the guy down the stairs. <laughs> You're just kicking him whilst he's down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couple kicks to the head. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, turn. Yeah, there you go. That takes you back to the main entrance. All right. Uh, so then we got to go to Air Tower, which. Oh shit. <laughs> One guard left. Why are you here? Oh, of course. Are you going to be getting back into your Let's Play channel, Vfig? That would be great. Um, I love watching some of those. I'll get rid of this guy. Okay. Oh, careful. He's going to turn back Who around. Who is there? Oh. Nope. Ooh, good got timing. Him. Good timing. <laughs> got him figured. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the the way that physics like you would have had very rudimentary physics back in these days. Um, it, it, everything is basically just a big okay. blob, kind of so floating or just <laughs> just around here. Uh, yeah, that's the right way. All right, this seems pretty. Actually, the way the way the way Thief does physics is is very fun. Take your time, Vfig. Take your time. Is um, this a, like a a proper physics engine or? It's it's very rudimentary physics. <laughs> Very rudimentary. Uh, Vfig, uh, and I know you. As, I know Vfig might know a bit more about this because um, they've done some actual dives into the Is this what something? we know as the source code to have been released. Um, the wind plays tricks with my senses. Uh. I shall walk the path to my it's a bit like um, Half-Life One physics, you know. Mm, okay. Yeah. It's like um, you know, there's very basic kind of. Um, Oh. Uh, rigid body colliders and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Things can kind of bounce around, but there's nothing more complicated than that. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, that will be a gas arrow, oh, which works, which uh, works very similarly to a fire arrow in that it doesn't arc. Uh, but a gas arrow can be used to knock guards out. Oh, interesting. And it has an area of effect uh, as well. Fire burns. Oh uh, yeah, Vfig says it's a proper physics what engine, but blows. primitive. Everything is basically only spheres. Yeah, that's right. Oh okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Garrett, Garrett is actually uh, physically made up of two balls on stacked on top you of each other. You cannot escape. You cannot. Oh, escape. Every, everything Inevitable. here is tiled, by the way. Oh, cool. Might oh, might want to use your gas arrows on these guys. They didn't see me somehow. Maybe they did. Oh, here they come. Whatever they are, they're still charming. Yeah, I, I love I love rudimentary physics. Uh, I 
Um, what the hell? You. Oh, wait! Are the air mages immune to gas arrows? I'm just gonna... Uh, maybe just run past them. The, I think the air mages are kind of useless. <laughs> okay, Vfix says air mages are immune to gas. Oh my god! Why is <laughs> so he put mean. the gas arrow there? <laughs> oh, That's... Denton says best to load, you'll want that gas arrow. Oh, for future towers. I think I, okay, I, so I, don't, I, I already... Oh. Not I already quick saved. It I, seems like we only need it just to make uh, the fire tower easier, but it's not required. I, I can I can handle it. I I, I, I already quick saved, unfortunately, so... Yeah. Well, you haven't got to the fire tower yet, so I'm, I'm just going to speedrun this bit. Without knowing it. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's completely valid. I, I think the air mages are, like, the weakest of the bunch. They just kind of make balls that float. <laughs> that's 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 how I like it. It didn't even it didn't even like go towards me. I was just it just started going around like check this out. I'm just... <laughs> Basically doing the thing that uh, Ang does in Avatar. Oh my god, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the ambience in this room. It's, in this place. it's quite serene. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, careful. No! Careful. No! No. Oh, yeah. Doors and elevators are boxes. Yeah. Oh, God. The way elevators work in Thief is. What to Hi. Stir will only bring death. <laughs> You're just running away from him whilst he's <laughs> like taunting you. <laughs> God, I hope, I hope, I still have a hope one day that the source code for Thief gets released. That'd be cool. I can, I can believe. I can believe. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, yeah, elevate. Uh, okay, so lifts in this, so these floating platforms are a little bit weird when it comes to mantling. You might want to wait until they get just above the platform that you're going to jump onto okay. so that you don't have to mantle. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Did you save? There we go. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're nearly there. Who made C4? That would be Idos Montreal. Um, uh, a different team. Uh, B team. Well, not B team in that in that sense, but a different team of people at Idos Montreal. Not the same team that made uh, Deus Ex: Human Revolution and Mankind Divided, basically. Um, Is this right? Oh, that's the yes with door. There. That appears to be the way out, yeah. Same people who are making Guardians of the Galaxy, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But the also ones. the same people. Yeah, I, although the Guardians of the Galaxy game, I believe, is being made by uh, the entirety of Eidos Montreal, so that includes the Deus Ex team and the Thief 4 team. Oh, oh yeah, and they also assisted on the development of uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider as well. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Deus Ex fans know how Spyro fans are feeling about Toys for Bob. I mean, Deus Ex fans already knew. Oh, yeah. Uh, Deus Ex fans already knew because Deus Ex went on a huge hiatus between fucking, what was it, 2004 to 2011. And Deus Ex fans also have an unfi- Deus Ex fans now have an unfinished trilogy. As oh, well. no. Yeah, because Mankind Divided ends in a cliffhanger. <laughs> and a brutal one at that as yeah. well. <laughs> Who made the OG Tomb Raider? That was just Idols, wasn't it? Uh, no, Core Design. Oh, Core Design. Idols published it, didn't they? Yeah, Idols yeah, published Core it. Core Design, that's right. Co yeah. Core Design did a few um, point and clicks back in the day as well. Oh, did they? I think so. I didn't know that. Uh, um, I, I remember, because I, I run that uh, point and click aesthetics account, um, there's a couple of that on there that I put there that have been developed by Core Design. Uh, so, hmm. Which is interesting. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know, I didn't know they made it. Oh, this is cool. I I love the the air tower. It's super cool. Also, yeah, Clon, you're absolutely right. Mankind Divided had the the awful pre-order stuff. Oh, no. oh, hold on. Point in, point towards the uh, the pedestal. Yeah. 
Down they go. Okay. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What? No! Oh, come back! Why? <laughs> 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 what do I need to open that? Uh, it should just be your lockpicks, I think. Unless, what's that? What's that? There's like a thing there on your left, isn't there? Uh, Denton just says it's timed, so you just got to be quicker than that. Okay. Oh, where are my lockpicks? Oh, wrong way! Oh, oh. no! Goodbye! Oh, okay. Should show up with this. If you want to blame anyone, Clon, it's not just Activision CEO. It's, it's just capitalism and gaming. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna ruin any. It'll ruin any art form, honestly. So. Oh my God, buddy, ga uh, buddy games. You've been able to get a graphics card at MSRP. Well done. Nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, I got it. There Fire key. The last tower. All right. Um, that's it. All right. Now you just need to spend a long time leaving. <laughs> Yes. Uh, this level, uh, one of the b main reasons why a lot of people don't uh, like this level. What? Uh, oh, you got squashed against the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> uh, Slowfall potions aren't in Thief 1. Uh, Denton, by the way. I, at least I don't think they are. Um, I'm pretty sure that's Thief 2. Um, everything, <laughs> everything changed in the fire tower attacked. Honestly, that's kind of apt, what Vfig is saying now, uh, and you'll see why in a minute, Connor. Um, oh boy. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh, I the, yeah, this level is kind of considered the bane of many speedrunners uh, because of the air tower. Until a new out of bounds glitch was discovered a couple of oh. years ago. Oh, um, <laughs> And it, uh, it basically makes it, it squashes down Garrett's uh, collision. Okay, so Garrett, Garrett is made up of, it, Garrett's collision model is basically two blobs, like two circular primitives. Uh -huh. um, and the what the glitch does is it basically puts Garrett's lower collision box into the ground. And that means right. that what you can do is you, you basically phase through all the locked doors. Oh. So you can skip. You you can basically skip every single tower to go straight up to the very top of the central tower to get the talisman. Gotcha. Uh, it cuts. Yeah, it cuts this level in in the speed runs. It cuts the level down from like 20, 30 minutes down to about eight, if you know what you're doing, which is a massive time save. It's a very cool glitch. Um, yeah, Vivik, I, I, it's a really fun glitch actually, because it, it, it involves using some of the kind of, the, when you're heading across the bridges to the towers, it uses some of the geometry from there. Um, actually, let me see if I can get a link for you to watch of it, because I think I think you'll like that glitch. It's a fun one. Um, okay. Fire tower is over this way. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so what I've just linked is the should be the fire tower glitch in question. It's it's very fun. Uh, I was able to get it. Um, I was able to do it fairly consistently, uh, but it's a fun one. Actually, I will just double check that it's the right one. Let the darkness take you. No. To hide in the shadows is to reveal your fear. Yeah, that is the right one. Yeah, I am kind of scared of mages, actually. <laughs> he spotted you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Clon uh, says the platforming is more dangerous than the air mages. Ah! Uh, that is. <laughs> 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 Quick, get inside the fire tower. God, you're gonna hate the fire tower so much. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Thank, thank you for the follow. Like Kermit is high. <laughs> I like that. Uh, careful, there's a mage yes, coming your way. Yes, yes. Uh, excuse me while I just uh, 
to go. Yeah. I shall walk the path to my return to the eternal fire. I'll return you to the eternal fire. <laughs> 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 oh, it's a part. To Adept Al Hair. Lieutenant Skull disobeyed Captain Rigelio's specific orders and uh, ventured into the Tower of Fire. Needless to say, he was ill prepared to deal with the trials of flame and lava that await all entrance. Oh, fun! The charred corpse was, br <laughs> was brought to the laboratories where it will be put to good use. The fire can cleanse us, but it is not for the. Moment. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 240 bit harper. Bye, everyone. I'm going to watch James May talk about spam. That sounds like a good use of time. James Cheats. May is talking about. Yeah, I was thinking, like, I love that way. Just goes, <laughs> Cheats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are my Echoes Adventures going? I haven't picked up Zero in a little bit, actually. Uh, but I will get back to it at some point, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway, the fire can cleanse us, but it's not for the commons. See to it that the incident serves an example to others. Oh boy, this is going to be a time. Must be. It's gonna be a crispy one. It's it's the last tower though, apart from the middle one. Oh look at that! It sure is magma. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Everything is metal. Oh no. <laughs> and he can just walk in the lava? Yep. He's That's just like... hanging out. <laughs> Welcome to hell, says Denton. And these pressure plates? Um. They are. They're something. Oh, they hurt! Mysterious. Cool! This is. Oh, this is. <laughs> the hot metal. Something is amiss. Oh, come on. Yeah, that works. Oh, yeah, I, I, honestly, honestly, this is a pretty good tactic. Don't do that. That's one part done. Alright. A fire mage is coming. Where the hell do I go? Oh god, through here. Uh. Oh, oh, some stone. So you're kind of safe here now. I, I, I'd save here. Okay, 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 okay. Wind okay. blows, fire burns, earth shakes. Who troubles this place? <gasps> Me? <laughs> <laughs> that other fire mage may have gone down now, so that's alright. Pay attention to the colour of the hurty bits. Oh, in the dark, they're fine. Oh, right. I thought it was just a texture glitch. <laughs> it's right. supposed to be kind of like they're heating up or something. Yeah, I you see. Know, they're like getting mega hot, yeah. I hope you like metal. What can I <laughs> even say? Fire arrow is very helpful, thanks. I'm sure that'll come in handy. It's a scripting glitch that they go pitch black. Oh! Huh. One from the original game or one introduced in the fan patch? I believe it's original. Oh, okay. I would have thought Voodoo would have fixed that, considering how... Stone floor, stone floor. Oh. Zealous <laughs> Voodoo can be with some things. Uh, this is the, the only game that gets me like excited to see like stone or wood floors. I'm like, oh, stone floors, thank god. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, it works so well. It's such a good thing. Uh, it's called, um, what is it, Magnetic Design, I think? Everything's metal. 
Oh, back to stone. Okay, back to stone. That's good. Nice, lovely stone. Just remember, fire arrows raise your light gem up. Yep, that's why I am a holster in there, bad okay. boy. Come on, you're going down, sir. I shall walk the path to my return to the air. The air speaks, speaks to me. <laughs> We're good. We're good. It's fine. <laughs> The air speaks to me. Yeah, that's what I say when I fart. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. Oh. That's that way. What trouble is this? Alright, let's go. Good luck. Good luck is all I can say on this one. Why do all these guards talk so much to themselves? Oh, why not? From a gameplay sense, and it, it, to give you an action answer, from a gameplay sense, it's so that the, the the when the guards are talking to themselves, it's basically communicating to the player um, what status they're in, basically. Did you just chop a speed potion? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Is that a good idea, do you think? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Well, that was actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, I'm smart. Yeah, this is still the mage mission, but we're very close to finishing now. Yep. Extremely close. It's been a long stream. This is much longer than I usually go. Yeah, it's almost four and a half hours. You're going to need to step on the plates, I'm afraid. No. But, conveniently, one, uh, one of them will always be off when the other is on. Okay. All right, I see. Yeah. So you can, if you just time it right, you'll you you won't take any damage. Okay, wrong one. The force of the elements oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, this is the worst. Do you have any flash bombs? Please tell me you do. No. Uh. Do you have any noisemaker arrows? I. Or gas arrows? No. No, none of the above. You okay, may have wait. To darkness, but time is on my side. Dark, I stand unscathed. <laughs> Run! The fire mages are actually dangerous, yes, because they have a, they have an area of effect damage as well. The eternal fire will reclaim you. Oh my god! <laughs> the intruder eludes me for now. Escape oh, while you can. We wish to be left alone. The shadows will not. Stay with them! Strikes as he does. Two of them run! No! Just be careful the when you're crouching. When you're... Oh, they see you. you for long. Oh god, Feel I was kind of hoping they would have killed each other. Anger. That would be bad, though. No, because it wouldn't count as a kill by you. Okay. okay. I, I think maybe reload. Uh, I think you might be in a bit of a tricky situation. I mean... Unless, unless you kind of get behind them and, and manage to, to... knock them out. You cannot change my destiny, thief. I call upon the elements to smite you. You cannot change my destiny. I have eternity to seek you out. Okay, just don't move. He may have returned to darkness, but time is on my side. I oh, maybe use a broadhead arrow on the rock. Uh, in front of Do you me. see death the in the darkness? You cannot escape the inevitable. Do you have any uh, noisemaker arrows? No, I don't. Oh, wait, I, I, no, no, I think they're leaving. I think they're leaving, actually. You think so? Just don't move yet. Don't move yet. Your fate is a hurricane. You cannot hide. It cannot be out. Okay, no, they're still investigating. <laughs> 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 I think they might 
be at the bottom of the stairs? You Push cannot them. escape the inevitable. Okay, hold on. I You have a lot of mo you have a lot of moss arrows. I'm gonna I'm gonna save here again. <laughs> Leave us. Oh crap! While you can. Oh, never mind. They're up on this floor, but they don't know you're here. Okay. So that's, must, that's must, must, to hide must. in the shadows is to reveal your fear, intruder. Pop this here. This is. You uh, cannot hide from the inevitable. <laughs> I have eternity. Just wait for these guys to, to, to stop being alerted, because I'll go away. Okay. I'll go down. Uh, yeah, Clon, they're immune to they're immune to fire, so they're able to walk on magma and stuff. Do you see no death <laughs> in the darkness? <laughs> to hide in the shadows is to oh, reveal your fear, intruder. Oh my God! Please leave. Oh, they probably can. They probably can drown in lava, Denton. That wouldn't surprise me. Okay, one of them is walking normally. <laughs> Okay, the other one's walking normally. They're going through a door. Yeah. So just give it a minute. Okay. They've returned to their old patrol. Whew. Okay. Save. <laughs> okay. I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> I think you'll be okay then, because okay. you didn't, you, you haven't alerted them again. So you need to get really close for this chest, like really close. Oh my god! Basically hugging it. Okay, so it is a square one. Yeah, a square one. Get ready to swap. Ah, too early, too early, too early. Too early, too early. Swap. Damn it! Oh! Uh, maybe too early. Uh. <laughs> I think, like, step, com yeah, step completely off rather than swapping to the next tile. Don't do a dive. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, a lot. Okay, step, okay, up. step off. Yeah. Save. Good idea. Step off. I'm just gonna have to wait a second. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd probably wait. I think you only need to do one more. I should uh, be right. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, you, you might be able to just lean forward and open it. I, I uh, I'm just, I'm just it. playing it safe. Now yeah. for the towers. Okay. Nice. Now we okay. need to get out. That's okay. You can just run out the door. All right. Let's go. Uh, you probably like if you if you if you time it right, you probably close the door in their face as well. It's another one of those doors with a lever, by the way. It's just below you. I think I got to it before. Where is it? Darkness shall there. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh wait, no, it is. It is that one. No, no, yeah. no, never mind. Sorry, I'm stupid. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And now you're back in the central tower. And, then, so. and it's pretty easy to get back up to the top from here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you just need to go up the stairs. Okay. All right, we're we did it. Done. Just got to get up, <laughs> get up here, go down to the sewers, and escape. Yep. Ah, Fufuzela room, my beloved. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh... What's in here then? It's true he has returned. We must, we must be ready. Rough waters lie ahead. Many will not survive. We must try to redirect the current.
Try as we might to retrieve the talismans, the prophecy is an ocean returning to shore. Little we can do to prevent is it over there. Uh oh. Oh, you interrupted the conversation. Oh no. You cannot escape the inevitable. The Dang eternal it. Eternal fire will reclaim you. That's okay. Then. Our unwelcome They're guests talking about some sort of ominous themselves. prophecy that they're trying to prepare mm -hmm. for. Wonder what that might be about. Leave us. You cannot While hide you can. from the inevitable. I Why did he go with? Yeah. Yeah. I, am on I, I think the mages have a slightly higher sensitivity towards uh, when you're in the dark. So, uh, maybe maybe load you safe. Maybe load you safe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, li listen to their conversation and then they'll go it's away. It's true he has returned. We must, we must be ready. Rough waters lie ahead. Many will not survive. We must try to redirect the current. Try as we might to retrieve the talismans. The prophecy is an ocean returning to shore. Little we can do to prevent it and prepare for its arrival. Dry and dead is much of the city. The sun will oppose and the conflict will end in flames. It's the way of things. Civilizations will burn into the earth so that it may give life to the next. Winds of progress always head towards the grave. Soon, young apprentice, you shall grasp the truth of it. I shall walk the path to my there you return go. to the eternal So, they save now, and you should be able to knock both these guys out. I. <laughs> I. I. Oof. Okay. Uh, this is the central tower clan, Oop. not the. We've already been in the Earth Temple. Also, I'm surprised you don't remember this conversation, returns. It, it, it's actually kind of surprising how uh, blackjack bunker mode. How important it is a blackjack bunker mode? Oh my like, god, yeah. That's a good idea. I shall walk. There is. Oh, almost. Nice. Okay. Almost. Is it so there's a bit of loot. There's a bit of loot here. Yeah, there you go. My god, loot on this one has been easy, which is I'm quite thankful yeah. for. Which is quite nice, um, yeah. uh, especially after the last level. It looks like there's a, a lot there. of talismans. And another one here. Yeah, so maybe a uh, quick save just because you took out the guards. Yeah. So. Why are there so many talismans? Which one's the right one? Uh, Which one's the cup right. of a carpenter? Just pick up one of them. See what happens. Ah. What? <laughs> what is that effect? <laughs> a wide talisman coming at you like punk. <laughs> Now, do you remember the papyrus you picked up? Uh... There are several papyri. Uh -huh. Papyri? Papyrus? Not that one. Not that one. That one? No. Not that one. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's eight old men in a tower. Eight. eight old men. Only one with power. Turn away from the hand with the sword. Count seven. And find your reward. Hand with the sword. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. Hold on. <sighs> Can I climb up here? I want to look up here. There's probably nothing up here. <laughs> Hand with the sword. Do you see anything with the sword? Um, I'm gonna look. Let me check my my stream view so I can see the the, the full lighting. <laughs> Good idea. Is that a sword? The door. Mm. No, maybe not. Is there anything in this room with a sword? Do you think? I, uh... Oh, me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, so maybe head to the entrance and start from there. Okay. So okay. count seven. 
So one, Count se two. So turn away from the hand with the sword. Count seven. Oh, so this side. Yeah, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wasn't that the one I tried? Uh, no, I don't think so. But I, I, or, I already know that wasn't the right one. I think you may have counted wrong. I think you may have counted wrong. Actually. Did I? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's one. Two. I think that's two. I think that's meant to be two. So you're on. Th yeah. Yeah, that's one. That one's two. One. Yeah, I think that one's oh, meant to be one. Two. Two. Three. Yeah. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So that one's seven. Is that right? Pick it up. See what happens. Okay, it didn't punch me. That's good. <laughs> didn't slap you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get slapped by a rock. That's good news. <laughs> there you go. You got everything. It's time to leave. Take this up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Four hours and forty minutes into the stream, and I, I've done this. Um, I can go this way, can't I? No, I'll oh, go go down, down, go down one more, and then you can head all the way down the stairs again. Yes. Yeah, that's the mage towers. It's, it's a fun level, but I can see how people get fatigued with it. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit long doing the same, basically the same thing. Yes. I think I think the stuff I would have enjoyed more is if they had expanded the library a bit more. Oh no no no! Keep heading down the stairs. Oh uh, yeah, take yeah. Tours, tours, yeah, yeah. I would have preferred it if they kind of kept going uh, with the library concept, you know, expanded oh, that. Oh, libraries are always fun. Hours. Um, there's another level by Nicked, another fan mission, called um, the what was it? The Murder of One, blah blah blah. I can't remember his name. It's basically a murder mystery, Ooh. Uh, detective sort of stealth mission. It's very cool, uh, and it's got some lovely horror themed Easter eggs in it as well. But it has like one of my favorite libraries. <laughs> it's so cool. Libraries are always cool in games, especially when they're like yeah, and they're like they're used in like puzzles and you know mm, that kind of mm. thing. They're it's always cool. All right, we yeah. did it. We did it. I think nice. we got that guy earlier as well. So you don't have to deal with that. Yeah. These levels always go on this long. <laughs> they have a habit of that. There we go. Woo! That's two missions uh, done in a stream. Very nice. <laughs> Nearly five hours, though. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it's a fun let's game. The next... Yeah, let's get the next cutscene done. Oh, yes. <sighs> the knowledge of those who came before could neither be dis disseminated or destroyed. Its power would be a dangerous tool in the wrong hands. But would also ensure against future cataclysm. At that time, we chose to maintain it with writings preserved in extant locations. The keepers have hidden the talisman of fire in a place they call the Lost City. Some kind of cataclysm buried the place underground ages ago. The keepers have sealed the access to the city, a cleft in the river bottom near the east side. If the materials in the library are right, the strange stone I found can be used to open that seal. Ah. I've also got a map. It's so old the edges crumble in my hands. It shows the city, or at least how it was back then. I hope the old place hasn't changed much. <laughs> it sounds very cool. It's I I really like this okay. level. Also, buddy games. Uh, I intend to watch it. it. Should be pretty good. Lost yeah, this this is a level where you can definitely get lost, but it's also a level where you can you can just sprint around like crazy. Honestly, it's it's a fun one. I find. Okay, so you're not getting loot, but you're recovering medallions. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there's no there's no loot goal for this one. Yeah, the variation uh, map art is really cool. And like the accurateness. Like, yeah. Some of them aren't reliable because like they're old maps. It's really good. It's just an interesting yeah. map. 
Why is there a papyrus? Sadly, sadly, sadly Thief 2 doesn't quite follow up on that, mm. but um, there's still some nice art in there. So yeah, definitely get the healing potions. Um, uh, what is the papyrus, actually? I, d I don't remember. An acquaintance will sell you a commission he has to pick up in some... He has to pick up oh, that gives, you an that gives you another objective oh, to do. Yeah. Why not? Let's do it. Um, yeah. uh, rope arrows. Guess, uh, yeah, get another rope arrow. Uh, Gas arrow. How many? Uh, all of them. I, I don't think you really need water arrows for this one. Oh. Oh. Um. Uh, I'm going to okay. Maybe. That. Maybe. Maybe sell one. Oh, Denton says. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Baker Doze, for giving out a tier one sub. Oh wait, Denton, you're right. Okay, actually, yeah. Get rid of one more. Get rid of one more gas arrow. Okay. And buy lots of water. Buy Brian. Buy all the water arrows. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for the 500 bits of Baker Doe's uh, and, and a, bit, a bit of Angel there. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my uh, higher uh, bit donation lords. <laughs> anyway, is that everything? Anything else I can grab, actually? Uh, yeah, get a flash bomb. Get a flash bomb as well, why not? All right, that should be it. Yeah. Okay, then. And then that should be it. And then... Play mission? Play and save. You don't need water arrows, your sword is fine. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> and uh, that is going to be me putting a save there. That is going to be me hitting quit um, for this week. Um, however, uh, this is going to be a regular thing now until we finish the game. So uh, next Tuesday, uh, we're going to be continuing with on with Thief when we're doing The Lost City. Um, probably... Uh, yeah. uh, uh, the one after as well, if the current trend is anything to go by. Um, I think we do about two levels per stream, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. I mean, as we... When we get past this this chunk of levels with, mm -hmm. the, with, the, with the talismans, it'll get fairly easier. Okay. Uh, in fact, with the last... <laughs> with basically the last three levels, I kind of recommend turning the difficulty down anyway. Okay. Mostly because the, la the last three levels... Are kind of shit. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> so fair enough. Yeah. All right then. Um, I don't know if you want to plug anything before we go, Chloe. Uh, trying rights. That's a good one. That's a good one. Trans yeah. rights. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I I I have a stream on Thursday as well. That's all I can really plug at the moment. <laughs> Uh, v Vfig disagrees with me and says last three levels are great. You're you're entitled to your opinion. I will give you. <laughs> <laughs> they're fine. They're fine. They're just not as good as the rest of them. Um, that's kind of where they, where I stand on them. They're still good. Yeah. Yes, trans rights yeah. are very important indeed. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll be next be live Thursday with Itamar. Uh, we'll be continuing Ace Attorney, um, which is going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you all uh, for that as well. Uh, I'm going to send a raid over to... Uh, we're going to read Sophie Baby. <gasps> Sophie Baby. So, uh, yeah. I think she's playing uh, Twilight Princess. I think so. I think I, I, saw, I saw her playing that there recently, and she's playing a Zelda game. So, <laughs> All right, let's get this raid going. Um, I will see you all... Um, in the uh, fullness of time. Um, I love you all. And good night. Good night. Bye.